<laughs> Alright, come on in. What? They found the black guy! <laughs> they found a random black guy? What the frick happened? Who is this brother? Uh, what do you do for work? If that black man, if the black guy gets chosen, and he's the one that gets taken out of all four that's left, I will give this man a $10 membership donation. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Kites here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. What's up, people? Hey, today we're checking out episode one, a real one by the last talk show. We haven't seen this before, so hey, let's check it out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully we can have a good time with this. All right. How you feeling? It's something different, I'm assuming. Hey. It's two hours long. Yeah, it is two hours long. Let's see. Hey man, let's lock in. Contestant number one. Oh. Hello, you can put your bag on that chair. Come on in and let's have you stand on the red box. Well, got that fit on. He said he got that, he got the fit on? Yes, sir. Uh, tell them. Oh. He's giving, uh, <laughs> uh, guess the price. The price is right, yeah. Yeah, he got that fit on. Is this a parody? I got you or, that fit on. Is this what he re he re he naturally be rocking? To pay on fleek. <laughs> so, your you know. name, your age, and what you do? Roxy Nicole Ross. Um, my age. Hello. And I work at my job. Hello. All right. And uh, tell me, what are three deal breakers that you have when it comes to a relationship? Not telling your age. I need you a little bit taller than me because I'm already six four in these heels. Six four in the heels is then take the heels off, gang. No, look, we gotta see what the heels look like. Oh, she got boy, them, you got she got them go go heels on. Yeah, you already six four in the heels, dang. You already eliminated like 60, 70, 80 percent of the population with that. They not gonna be over six four. All right, those are the deal breakers. Now, did we have a red flag? I think Elias gave me a red flag. Elias, why did you already put up a red flag? Uh, cause she. Failed to disclose her age and her occupation, which already kind of tells me a little suspicious type <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, Roxy, how do you feel about that? Are you not willing to disclose your age? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. Hey, black don't crack. Hey. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go for, uh, oh, we have another red flag. What's up? Yeah. Uh, Malik, tell us why you put up a red flag. Yeah, well, um, she wears glasses. Yeah, that's great. I can't see. Discrimination yeah. is real. Yeah, that's that's the issue. I mean, you know, if we if we if we end up in a disagreement, you know, how can you see where I'm coming from? Oh. I just realized this man in the wheelchair got his leg crossed up. I <laughs> man. Oh if my God! Why? So, oh. is, this, uh, is this for real or real? <laughs> So that's for real a red flag for you because of the, the glasses. No, I mean, hey, she said she could see up close. That that could fix a couple things. So your red flag is now retracted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You see, All that's right. the solution. Not I've been proven okay. wrong. Well, let's keep moving forward then. Uh oh, Separate uh, is throwing a red flag. I also wearing the flag because, uh, as my man said, you, feel like you said you work at your job, and to me, that's the answer. Like Make sure you use your mic. Yeah, thank you. It looks like thank you're you, at your job right now. Dang. I'm always at my job. Hey yo! And what she job for the streets? Just to? say that, oh, bro. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, tell us what is your job? How does it work? At work. Are you really? So that that's as far as you're gonna go when it comes to something. Okay. Uh, now Gene is also throwing up a red flag. Gene. What yeah, I'm flag? just uh, really. Gene, I wasn't expecting that out of you. You gonna be the reason <laughs> your commentary is gonna be the reason I say so. <laughs> Cause you are so funny. Really <laughs> concerned about the job thing. She got uh, one. As, as most of my peers hey. are. Uh, and I'm a little concerned about the age as well. Not not so much the age, but more so the occupation is what's throwing me off and giving making me a little a little nervous. And you're not willing to share the occupation. I'll work at Carl's Jr. No, I think she lying. I think she's just saying that. Just oh, to say that. I think she's oh. lying. I'm about to say, Carl's Jr. is not nothing to be ashamed of. 
Them burgers is twenty four thirty five for one burger, no drink, bro. You better be. You gotta be getting more that than minimum. Ain't no flex for her. That ain't I no ain't dog. Her. Hey, it, which it ain't nothing wrong with working in fast food, but the, fast you know. food workers make twenty dollars an hour now, dog. Ain't no shame in that. They making more than uh some warehouse people. They still warehouses is still at like fourteen dollars an hour. So hey man, I like Carl like Jr. Western with cheese. Yes. What happened? Okay. Carl Jr. Would I like Carl like Jr. Western with cheese. Yes. Okay. And bacon. And she's a liar. Doctor, what's wrong with that? Liar is crazy. So we think she's lying. I know she's lying. Okay. Has anyone not? I don't think Davi, you have not thrown a red flag yet. Jazz, you haven't thrown a red flag. Avery, you have not thrown a red flag. So let's maybe focus our attention to those that haven't thrown red flags. Uh, Roxy, do you want to share if you have children? No, I don't. Okay. Mm. Oh, what? no, you don't want to share it, or no, you don't have. Children. Okay. Oh. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. cool. Uh, do you guys are you guys okay with that that she does not have children? Okay. Uh, do you guys want children? Yes. Do you want to have children? Sure. Girl. Lady, lady, I don't like it's she it's just trolling. she yeah, this can't she be trolling. serious, bro. We can't know your age. We can't know your identity. You supposedly ain't got no kids. And then it's like you you I don't know what's going on with you, lady. Okay. Now do any of you have a question for Roxy? Do you like holding hands? Yes, I love it. What the freak is this, bro? Awesome. Are you going to hold my hands when they're sweaty? Mm. Sweaty. Yeah. I already love her, guys. Okay, now. (laughs) Sounds like a map. Avery, do you have a question? (laughs) (laughs) I got a question. Um... For me, I'm all about communication and honesty. And if you're already hesitant to be honest with what you do and your age, because I'm not an age, I think. Why? Why? <laughs> I, know, I know. And now I don't say nothing about people's attire, but I know this is not what you, what you wanted to come out with. This 90s tube top sweater. It's a crop top sweater. And it's super tight. Oh, my boy. She called him Lil Uzi, but... He do look like him, just bald. <laughs> not everybody, not everybody can rock a ball. in all ages. Yeah, For me, that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, babes. <laughs> it's okay. I ain't gonna say it. Never mind. But you're cute. <laughs> With the bell-bottom jeans, I'm not boy. I'm say nothing, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, look. <laughs> the Lord loves all... And we all know that this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad they're it. Might be gender fluid. <laughs> Stop. Thank you. Yeah, I like your shoes. Um, do you work out? My hands is in the air. Okay. I like the honesty. I have a question actually. Uh, do you know how to sing by any chance? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just wanted to know. Uh, I'm going to put semi red flag. What? I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but... Can you sing? What you want to say? I mean, I, I go to karaoke uh, from time to time. Oh, oh my uh, gosh, bro. I'm a professional singer. Bro, just um, say you don't sing, but, gang. You know, I'm always trying to, to get better by, by going to karaoke, so. I feel like you should have asked her, would you go to karaoke with me instead of putting her on the spot saying, can you sing? Whoa, then you guys oh, could do that. Hold on. So, wait, wait, wait. The people on the couch can call each other out? Oh, let's do it. Together. Can we go to karaoke? Yeah. See? Okay. Mm. Even though we already threw a red flag. Seven, yeah, because I'm here for a real one, and as a real one, I do have to commend you for me, you know what I'm saying, and acknowledge that you are a beautiful woman, you know? Thank you. Um, my question is, you know, you got the glasses, so what's your favorite book? Mm-hmm. Just y'all are stereotyping. Oh, okay. Just because somebody got glasses yeah, don't mean they like to read. Hey, I'm going to need you to start pausing my bad. if you go say something, because I, you just... <laughs> Bro, use the pause. <laughs> I'm comfortable with my hands. My I know, but you, you, or at least tap me or something so I know to pause it. My we, bad, y'all. <laughs> so what did you say? I said just because somebody got glasses don't mean they like to read. Okay, thank you. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, you got the glasses. So what's your favorite book? Mm-hmm. Favorite book is 48 Laws of Power. Oh, okay. Ooh, we got a red flag. Mm-hmm. And the lies. Okay, let's go Avery first. Why the red flag for that? <laughs> um... <laughs> I've read that book and it feels very like manipulative. Mm-hmm. So mm. I don't like manipulative women. Mm. Red flag. You feel she try to manipulate you? Exactly. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's go with lies. Lies by the red flag. Cause I got that book too. 
Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't, uh, ain't no fools over here. <laughs> so, for right now, Jazz and Davi have not thrown red flags. They're the only ones. So I, mean, I retracted mine. Well, you retracted your red flags. Remember, the, it was the glasses. You said yeah, we yeah. haven't thrown ours? You have not. Or have you? I, I saw him. I saw yeah, you. I, he said about the honesty. Um, Davi, yes. what is your question for Roxy? So, you're a beautiful girl. Um, my question to you is, and again, this is with communication and honesty. This is why I did raise my flag to you because earlier, um, why are you single? I haven't found the right person. Is that a fair <laughs> answer for you, Davi? I think it's kind of vague. Um, are you the right person? Well, we already had issues because you weren't honest earlier give when they asked chance, about. Boo. Let me give me another. I mean, the fact that you can't even be honest for us first meeting kind of tells Begging me like, mm, if I ask you what do you do for work, I don't want <laughs> my job. I want the answer, right? Mm. Hey, he may be a little lemon pledge, but hey, he he talking his talk though. You know who he reminds me of also? Atlanta. What's his name? What's his name? The one that always be talking all uh, mystical. Oh, Darius? Cr- yes. He, he talks like Darius. <laughs> he talks like Darius? Yes. Darius he looks my, like little Uzi. Don't do that. Don't do that because Darius yeah. was my favorite character. He was my favorite character too, but yeah. hey man. And he talk, was, he's talked though. Yeah. He got a uh, 1971. I don't know who that is. You that old? That's fair. Like you want a guy with a job? Vice versa. Yeah, so I think, um, yeah. Okay, uh, let me ask this to see, because we still have Jazz, who has not thrown a red flag. Uh, I want to see this. Are you... L- let me ask Roxy first, then I'm going to go to you. Are you okay with 50-50? Yes. Oh, God. So you will split the bill. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jazz, I'm sure you're okay with that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let her pay. <gasps> I'm oh, not going to let her pay. Because oh, tonight, it's gonna hurt my feelings. I like having... <laughs> my <laughs> Like if I'm going on a date with you, I planned it. I'm paying. That's just how I am. Got it. Okay. And you're okay with that, right? Okay. I'll lead a tip. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not going to stop her from doing her thing. I'm not going to stop her from doing her thing. But I'm like, you don't have to. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> now, what about this? Are you don't okay with to. eating at the Cheesecake Factory? No. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't take her on a date to the Cheesecake Factory. Where would you Why take not? Roxy? Oh, good question. Um, I'm a go on a vacation on a flight kind of a guy. Which airline? Spirit. Mm-hmm. Don't do not do my boo like that. Oh, you got oh, all names already. That's your boo because he got right, money. Really lo- I love you already. Now, give me a second. <laughs> give me a second because I have a He's talent manager and he books the flights for me. Ooh. But I want to say, is it called Southwest? Okay. Is it called? I think it's called Southwest. He books me on Southwest. And where would you take her to eat? Um, I don't know what she likes to eat. But do what you do you like, like to eat? The, do you like this? I eat a lot of things. I'll eat everything. Okay. I'm open to anything. Um, like to taste honestly, it. I would, mm-hmm. I would be just listening to her until she says something that she's craving, and I don't feel like I don't feel like this dude is serious, dog. I feel like he just, he, I, I don't know, I don't know this dude, but I'm just like, it's feeling more like a joke of an answer than like an actual thing. He got pearls on. <laughs> Those are pearls. I don't know, bro. I don't know. And then I would start Googling things because I don't really go out. I just work a lot. So I wouldn't know where to take her. Um, okay. That's, but that's fair. Yeah, I would let her pick. Yeah. Do you have any? Because you're the only person who hasn't thrown a red flag. And we want to, if we want to get the fire oh, burner, we okay. want to do it. So, do you have um, one more question or two more questions for Roxy? Uh, what's your reservation on me ha- not having a place? Oh, so... We're going to go 50-50. So, I got to help you find a place. I got the down payment. You got to have the last month's rent. Mm. Uh-oh. You got last month's rent? <laughs> said, I, was, I, don't, I, don't, probably, I probably do the way that I'm working now. But <laughs> well, it looks like you guys are a match. Couple grand, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, your, your financial situation wouldn't really allow for this relationship mm, it really wouldn't and that's probably what so that's probably a red flag for you yeah oh, i know what do you do what is what is your talent agent what is what is he booking you to do 
Why are you are you looking for a road girl? Because what do you how are you expecting a relationship to work if you don't even got an like established location for y'all to be at that she knows if y'all need to go do something or we can meet up here or this is where we can crash for the day or it's like having a home or having some place to call your own is kind of standard. Now, you're saying that you just fly and you go on vacations, but every day can't be a vacation unless you got it like that. Mm -hmm. But if you got it like that, then you also should understand that having a place, even if it's something that you just rent for the cheap or whatever, because I know a lot of people, people who are quote unquote rich say like, oh, buying a home is a trap. But it's like you got to have something that. What happens when she don't feel like flying, like if she want to just stay somewhere? Yeah. Come on, dog. What's going on? Well, okay. You can, yeah. Actually, in that case, yeah, we, we can we can do that. Do you wanna do you wanna wave that for him? Okay. So, um, but Roxy, tell me this before you go, because obviously I'm sorry we couldn't get you a match. Um, we couldn't get you a real one. Uh, but tell me why no cheesecake factory? Yeah. It's nasty. There's no flavor. Ill. So you're not True. saying over the price, because many women will say it's over the price because it's not expensive enough. That's not your problem. I like oh, I don't cheap like food. It. You just don't like okay. it. Okay. Respect. And you're still, so you truly work at Carl's Jr.? Yes. Do you go dress like lying. this? She is lying. No, I got my uniform in the house. Oh, because I was going to say I'd, I'd come by often. Uh, but okay. Hey, yo. All right, folks. Well, thank you, uh, oh, my real ones on the couch. Thank you, Roxy, for coming out. I'm sorry that we couldn't find your real one, but I'm hoping we can make something happen next time. Thank you. Contestant number two, Veronica, come on. Go to the red X. Go to the red X. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Veronica, here is a mic for you. Tell them you're now on this channel. Y'all know that we are proud advocates of the late, great Dr. Umar. I don't know about proud, but black queens forever. Okay. Snow bunnies never. Okay. Black queens forever. Snow bunnies never. Not you got a mantra. Black queens forever. But no, 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 brother. The snow bunnies never. I'm just playing. Your name, your age, and what you do. My name's Veronica. I'm 21, and I'm an actress. Okay. okay. No red flags yet. I love to see it. Veronica, tell us three things that are deal breakers for you. Um, bad communication skills. Okay. Um, has no job, and. You are a Sagittarius. That's crazy work. I almost punched my screen. Oh. Oh. I'm oh. so sick. I'm sick of this. And you star, you star children keep trying to argue in my comments. Every freaking video talking about, you guys just don't understand the complexity of the Jody. This is y'all represented. Like, this is what we see from y'all. I don't want to study this. If, if this is how it's going to be, I don't want to date you because you're a Sag. If that's how logic is, I don't want to know about the Zodiacs. Y'all, every day I get more and more evidence of me. I don't care and I don't need to care because this is stupid. Zodiac discrimination, lives yeah. matter. Yeah, it's just like y'all y'all keep trying to preach this Zodiac thing, but then every day I watch something new that makes the Zodiac argument look worse and worse and worse every day. You are a Sagittarius. Ooh. Any Sag? Any I'm red flags? I'm a Taurus. What are you? I'm a Cancer. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, I'm a Cancer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How do you feel about Scorpios? I like Scorpios. I like water signs. <laughs> Let's ask, uh, because Seferin's heart's a little hurt now, why no Sagittarius? Um, just because of the relationship that I've had with Sagittariuses in the past. Um, it really depends on like a rising and moon sign too, but like, what girl, what? Hey, you know what? This, this whole segment, we not going to talk. So if you was born under a full moon, you, I don't freaking what know, is, bro. I'm happening? tired, dog. I don't, I don't speak stupid. So you know <laughs> what? Um, this whole segment for this little Sam, whatever the crap they talking about, we going, we going to be silent. Cause just I, I don't I don't really care about this part, so we're gonna just let it rock. The guy that I was with was a Sagittarius, and he really had no motivation. 
Mm. And that is a deal breaker for me. Well, I'm very motivated. I mean, I acknowledge your age, first and foremost. Uh, the thing is, like, you know, what if my communication is up to par? What if I'm not, you know, as shallow or I'm not going to judge your ex dude, but, you know. I mean, I'm still open to, like, communicating with Sagittarius's and getting to know them and having, like, a friendly relationship and stuff, but. But not dating. Um, I don't know. I, I've only had one boyfriend, so I would like to explore this. What the? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Do you say it would be fair to cut off all the sages out there over I one? I don't think that would be fair. I don't think so either. Uh, okay. What is one thing that makes you a catch? Um, I'm a big homebody. I like to read. I do like to go out once in a while, but it's not like an every weekend thing. But I'm mostly reading and like looking for acting jobs and work. That's just like my main focus. And I do love the outdoors. I like going to the beach. I just moved here two weeks ago and I'm because of the beach, like it's like 10 minutes. Where did you move from? From Michigan. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Malik, did you have a specific question? Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite book? Um, currently, it's probably the Shatter Me series. The third one is my favorite. That It always changes though. What is that about? Respect. It's like a dystopian ram- romance book. Okay. I have a question. Uh, are you a gamer at all, or do you play video games? Why does, or, he, or why does, he, why does he talk like he's trying to see when he's to speaking? <laughs> like, is your are you a little bit of a gamer? gamer? Are you a little bit of ex- RPGs action? What do you What do you really do, like, bro? Have any sort of uh, appreciation for some of the films that are coming out? You know, Star Wars, Marvel, anything like that. Um. So personally, I'm not a huge gamer. I have a Switch. That's like about <laughs> it. I like the Mario <laughs> games. That's like, fair. Kind of the basic that type of thing. But I do have a. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Someone got excited. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to kick that table. I'm just waiting. Yeah. Because he's been flutter kicking his uh, feet the whole time on that couch. He's just giddy. Very giddy. Like <laughs> swing I basically, like any movie, really, I'll give it a go. Like, I do like Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a Harry Potter fan, though. Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, that explains who, uh, Harry a lot. Potter, who are you? Slytherin? Are you Gryffindor? I, this, this is, this is, I, this will just, I also don't care for this conversation. Uh, my test has said. Slytherin. Okay. Your test. Ew. Now let's let's do this. Oh, is Harry that an official red flag? Or is that, okay, why is that a red flag? Why are you throwing a red flag? Because they're racist. What? That's you guys want the pure bloods and nothing. Oh, else that's true. That's the, true. This. You got me there. The I'm not a racist. Okay. <laughs> that's good to know. Wait. What are we talking I, about? Nah. Yeah. Well, I would choose Slytherin and. Oh. So <laughs> you're racist too. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm racist. Yeah, yeah let me tell you. Draco yeah. Malfoy. Right? Well, let's try this. Okay, so so Harry Potter aside, um, let's start to boil this down. None of you, except Cheeks, has thrown a red flag. So Cheeks, you're chilling for now. But we still have six gentlemen that. Uh, well, well, we do have a Sag that you throw a red flag on. Technically, or are you retracting that, or you, you're? What do you think? I'm still open to communication. Okay, so we have six gentlemen that you're willing to talk to. So I want you, we got to start to narrow this down. Okay. I'm going to ask for Elias's red flag, if I can borrow it very quickly. Um, I want you, just based on what you've heard so far, even the few responses, the little, you have to eliminate two guys. You have to throw up a red flag just based off either what you've heard or even appearance, because okay. appearance matters. Of course. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a red flag for you because you're cute, but you seem a little old for me. Personally. And I am. Seferin okay, Sherrod will... I have chosen a red flag for you, but you chose one for me, so that's a bummer. Wow. Now, Seferin, tell uh, Veronica your age. I'm actually 38. Um, 38. You, you know don't look like you're 38. I appreciate it. Black don't crack. I'm actually not a Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. I just turned 38 June 1st. Oh, oh, so you're a liar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right. Well, and then okay. So you're you're eliminating the the liar, uh, the, the the not sag. Uh, what was the point of lying, though? I don't know. Probably to prove how stupid it sounds. Oh, then if that was his case, I don't know. I just I, I don't, I don't know. know, bro. <laughs> uh, who is one more that you'd eliminate just based on? Um, 
I don't know. I didn't really hear you talk that much, so I don't think I'm going to eliminate you just because, or maybe I will because you haven't really talked that much. He did ask you what the book was about. Oh, that's true. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to okay. defend anybody. I'm not I biased. I think I but... might have to eliminate you because you said uh, something about gaming, and I'm not a huge fan of gamers. I understand. If, you, if you've got to get on the game, that's kind of a red flag. Yeah, it's, gaming is, is, is uh, very important for me. So. Yeah. I understand. Okay. I'm sorry. So you still have... Avery, Jazz, Davi, and Elias. These four here. Now, Davi, you're throwing a red flag. No, I was saying, like, hi. Oh, you're saying hi. Oh, got it. Okay, just making sure. Um, now, to narrow it down some, do you have a question for these four? Um, sure. Um, I guess everyone say your career. You can go first. I'm a personal trainer. Personal trainer, okay. <sighs> okay, I'm a musician, social media influencer, actor background talent, commercial lead, uh, website designer, sync licensing composer, model, hair okay. model. Right. I think she gets it. Designer. That's amazing. That's a lot. Oh my God. Right. I'm trying to get like him. I'm trying to Jazz, get Jazz, you're amazing. Hey, you're amazing. Yeah, where's your resume? Okay. something that you cannot do. <laughs> okay, next. All <laughs> right. Oh. Davi. I am a working actor and working model. Slip. Slay. Comedian actor. Nice. Okay. Did you have another question? Or did you want them Which to ask means you something? Us both being actors, I can help you with size That's and true. yourself too. I do like your tattoos as well. I like your tattoos too. Very cute. Okay. Um I feel like Davi the only one. You can't think of one like, either I, of you four have a question. I, question. I feel like Davi the only one really trying, like, on some serious tip. Like I don't know. The jazz dude. I ain't gonna talk too much, man. He look like um, this man in these uh these tan pants. He kind of look like the dude from uh from Twilight. Taylor well, Taylor Luck. Taylor, Taylor, yeah, Taylor yeah, Lock. Yeah. What is uh, Taylor yeah. Luckner? Y'all know his name. Yeah. Elias. Okay. Yeah, we got a question. The for wolf. Each other. Yeah. <laughs> the wolf. I got one for you. How do you feel about Tim Burton? About Tim what? Burton. Tim Burton. Oh. Tim, I like Tim Burton films. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, I have two Tim Burton tattoos. I'm just saying. I didn't ask you. Oh. <laughs> I was telling her. Oh. I have a Tim Burton tarot deck. I got a Tim That's Burton tattoo. That's crazy. Yo, hey, hey, gang. Hey, man. <laughs> you can't make this up. Tim Burton, huh? Tim hey, Burton for future for future reference, bro. That's a... For anybody else that wants us to like check out their content or whatever, bro, uh, please know what type of channel we are. <laughs> please, please know exactly what yes, type of channel crazy, we bro. are, bro. <laughs> she gonna hit you with that oogie boogie card. That's <laughs> nice. crazy. Okay. Any um, other questions from you? Which Tim Burton movie? Tarot deck Probably is it? the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. It's just oh my lord. Classic okay. movie. Is that what your tattoo is of Elias or no? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> show us. Wow, that's very specific. If, show us. Is it? Is it really? Now let me. Do, any other questions from you guys? Any yeah. vital ones? Because I want to ask. Avery, yeah. you have a vital one. Yeah. Okay. So, how would you feel about dating someone younger than you? Because I'm 20. Oh. oh. Awesome. As long yeah. as you're not in your teens, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great legal. question. Now, do you want to ask the ages of these three just to confirm yeah, that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, let's narrow it down. Jazz? I'm 29. Okay. 32. Okay. I'm 37. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. You don't look 37. Oh, and no, you, I ain't worried about it. That's okay. So you're yeah. out. Um, just so hey, I will ask, so so are you feeling these four? Or we got to start to narrow it down okay. again. So I'm okay. thinking I'm going to have I'll you eliminate. Be, I'll just be blunt. Um, I'm not a huge gym person, so I'm sorry. Okay. okay, so that's a red flag for Avery. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I think for safety, let's narrow it down one more time. Let's eliminate one more, perhaps. Man, this is hard. Oh, man, you guys are all actors, too, and, like, we would have so much in common. Working actors. Yes, we mm. are working actors. I don't know about them, but well, I am. Dang, <laughs> dang. Oh, oh. Hey, yeah, don't, hey, don't. Hey don't. man, you gotta sell your, you gotta sell yourself, man. But dirty macking is crazy work, bro. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> don't dirty mac. I like your style a lot, Thank and I like you. yours too. You have good shoes, but 
Unfortunately, I think these two have good styles, and that is what I find really attractive. So the red flag for a lot. We're gonna rave the red flag. Okay, wow. So it's down to two. Let me ask this, which is an essential question. Uh, do religion and or politics matter to you? Not a whole lot, but unless you force it upon someone, I think that that's a red flag. What about you two? Does religion or politics matter for you? Let's start with Davi. I'm spiritual. Me okay. too, yes. Okay. Jazz? Um I I'm expecting that one. I I've never been in a situation where I could judge that, so I'm going to have to say no until proven otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Any essential yeah. questions from Veronica for them? Because we got to start to... Yeah, I know. We got to start um, to... Because you're, you're, you're getting decisive here, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Remind me of your guys' names again. I am so sorry. Jazz. Jazz. Davi. And Davi. Jazz, Davi. Jazz, Davi. Okay. Um... Have a thumb war. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I have a question. Yeah, right. Freak going on here. I declare a thumb war. That's how we'll. Nah, man. Yeah, because I'm undefeated. I'll be, I'm undefeated up in here. Nah. I got the biggest thumb. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, best two out of three? Are we doing best yes, two out of three, Veronica? Okay, okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> He is right. That's a valid question. Yeah, right. That's how it is. Or yeah. How do you do it? We can do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So shoot will be one, one. two, three. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, no, we, it's rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yes. Okay. On shoot, you do your final All right. your move. Rock, paper, scissors. What is that? What is that? Rock. That's oh, rock. That's a rock <laughs> thumbs up. He was doing thumbs up. So you had paper, so that's... Okay, so that's one for Davi. Let's do best two out of three. One for Davi. Rock, really? paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, mm. Dang, tie. Oh, this is this is intense. Final one, Next round three. One. I'm just trying to get in your head. <laughs> it's all luck, man. Here you go. Come on, guys. Okay, crazy. let's do it. He's now he's gonna win. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Right, let's go. Dang. Oh, oh, Davi, oh, come on up here. Stand next to me. Stand next to me. Oh my God. Uh, I'm excited for this. Do you have one more question for Veronica? Because it's looking like something may be going on here. Do you have one more question? Or if you have not, you're, you can be good. Do you have a question? His phone matches sweater. Are you a real one? I'm a real one. I am a real one. Veronica, do you have any more questions for Davi? <clears throat> Be on my uh, if you're not of a uh, African descent, go ahead and mute the video real quick. I'll tell I'll tell you when I'll throw a thumbs up when you can unmute. But uh, now that they're muted, my my brothers and sisters, uh, <laughs> isn't it always funny when you see like other cultures and other like ethnicities use like like af like black people slang, bruh? Like <laughs> how she was like. Oh, I'm a real one. Like it's like, bro. Every time I I see somebody like they do like something, they say something that we commonly say. It's just it just don't ever it don't ever click, bro. But anyway, I'm done with that. Y'all can unmute. Um, did your head tattoo hurt? Actually, I fell asleep on it and on my throat. Oh, nice. Fell asleep. All right. Oh, well. That was your final question? Yeah, that's my question. All right, well, then my final question is, is this going to be a real one for you? We'll see. Is he going to be a real one for you? I guess we will see. Well, I'm going to take out this uh, green flag, if I can find it, because oh we've got a green God. flag. Yeah. We've got two real ones. Clap it up. Clap it up for the two real ones. Clap it up. Oh, my God. I can't lie. This is entertaining. Take your mic, and uh, I will take your red flag, and y'all can... Uh, Y'all can head out to the other room and uh, maybe discuss what you're going to do later this evening. Or the next day, or the next day, or the next day. Clap it up one more time for them as they... Uh, <laughs> oh, you're getting your phone. Oh, don't leave her. Don't let her walk out alone. You better quit. Uh, what? Hello? You better quit. You can go on the red X. Step on that red X for me. Red X. Yes. Yes. Bring back the more money. What? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. He said, bring back the baddies. <laughs> who, who, who? What did he say? <laughs> he said, bring Maybe back the baddies. Go on the red X. Step on that red X for me. Red X. Yes. Bring back the baddies. 
ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Hello there. Would you please tell these wonderful gentlemen your name, your age, and what you do? Yes. My name is Ophelia. Hey, bro, look, man. I'm going to skip through this because I don't care about the romances of witches, bro. Really don't. So we're going to just move past her, bro. Just going to move past her, bro. I'm sorry. The devil don't got no place here, bro. Sorry. For a real one next time. Let's go. Hello there. Step on that red. Hey. How are you? Hey. Uh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> 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 she's cute. I can put you out. The war has begun. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Step on the red X just right about there. Why don't you tell these wonderful gentlemen your name, your age, and what They're you do? That's cute, too. Um, my name is Nina. Forever I'm 21. Forever 21. I'm a car sales. I sell Honda. Yeah, I work at the car. This just feels racist. This just feels racist. <laughs> huh? It just feels racist because I got jokes I want to say, but I know it's not the right thing to do. <laughs> what do I do? Not I do say a shape. If you guys want a car, <laughs> not a Honda. Sorry, man. I don't want a girl. The Honda boys fool around, take me. Okay. The Honda boys, okay. <laughs> the boy and uh, no reply yet, which is beautiful. Oh, Tell us three okay. of your deal breakers when it comes to a relationship. I'm sorry, Asian. <laughs> is that a deal breaker? She's that you're processing. Yeah, I'm oh. not. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, so she <laughs> only want Asians? Oh. Nah, I, I be trying to tell them, bro. Y'all be some of y'all be like, "Oh, I'm gonna go to Cali, get me a little, a little Asian girl." Hey, they do not want y'all, gang. I'm sorry. When it comes uh, to a relationship, I'm sorry, Asian. <laughs> it's a red flag. A deal breaker that you're Asian. Yeah, I'm oh, not. <laughs> <dating>. <laughs> oh my god, I was gonna say. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, the person not being Asian is a deal breaker. Um. Do I don't like an Asian. Oh, you don't? Oh, wait, yeah, never I mind. don't like an Asian. Oh. No Asian. Oh. Hey, matter of fact, hey, come to Cali, come get you an Asian girl, bro. Apparently, they do want y'all. <laughs> it's just the stuff I've seen, I guess, it just, it don't add up. Hey, Asians, y'all stocks is down. <laughs> Yo, no oh, Sorry. <laughs> well, let's, let's hold up. Now, Avery, you're throwing the red flag. I don't want to, I don't want to assume things. Why are you throwing the red flag? I'm part Asian. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just had to, I just had to make sure. Because he might have been black, but he might have squinted a lot. Yes, I like, black. <laughs> I like black. <laughs> I like black. <laughs> At least she know what she want. At least she know what she like. My brothers, though these opportunities are in front of us, we must remember to stay strong in the face of adversity. In the book of Dr. Umar, Chapter seven, he says, he don't say nothing about Asians. I don't know, he don't say nothing, bro. We change. Okay. All right. So, Avery, thank you. Um, Chinese? Oh, okay. You can put your mic down. I guess that's the red flag. So, no. Why? Why no? Why, I, why don't you like Asian? You know, I came to America like five years ago. So, during my whole life, I all hang out with the Asian. I eat Asian food, I hang out with the Asian guys, me, they're all parents. Like, I'm tired of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, no, no. Soul. You need some soul. <laughs> yeah, I like something different. Like color, <laughs> different color races. Like, uh, different. Okay. Like, okay. yeah. Avery you know. respects it. So we still have five gentlemen that are, um, that have not thrown red flags. Um, give me your other deal breakers. That was just the first one. That kind of sent some shock waves. Give us two other ones. Um. Player, I've Hello. been, I've been met so many players, so many players. Five years, there's a five. Dang, five Jazz years. is a really, player. Like no one really wants to date. I'm just, like just like why, why? So we got Jazz, Jazz want a red flag. Jazz, that. use your mic to tell us why this is a red flag. <laughs> why? You know why? You know, you know why? why? Yeah, what? <laughs> Jazz, bro, what Jazz got going on, bro? <laughs> Where did y'all find him? Bro, Jazz is the most, I can't tell if he if he's just a goofy guy or he just, he really be in the streets doing stuff, bro. Wait, I, I don't know. know. I, I don't, don't know. I, don't know. I treat, like, as, wait, I treat them as my man. Like, I only mm -hmm. date him. I only hang out with him. I but 
He has so many other <laughs> girls at the same time. I, I'm confused. I don't know why. I'm confused. What do you mean by player? Oh my like, god! Like, like, like they cheat all the time. Oh, like, they cheat. I be, yeah, I be cheating. Oh, that's that. That's that Caucasian. I'm he sorry. Know, he know. He knew what she meant. <laughs> he knew what she meant. That's that. That's that Caucasus, bro. <laughs> what What do you really mean by player? Cause like I'm on the sticks every night. Let your children number one. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I, I I'm being serious. I, 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 serious. Okay, this wait, guy wait, next up. Next one. Next one. Like, Jazz, explain. <laughs> are, you're, you're telling us you're a player. I I have I have a lot of girlfriends, but I don't cheat. So now I'm confused. You t- uh, but I do have a lot of girlfriends. Are you Polly? Why are but you, you just here? A, one week and next next week another one, and then next the next week has another one. As soon as you <laughs> stop giving me the attention that I need, I'm talking to someone else. Yes. Whoa! Look at look at look at her. Look at her. I ain't gonna lie, twin. Hey, if if there's if this is y'all, if y'all are doing the same thing. That as soon as y'all don't get the attention that y'all want, y'all move on to other people. I'm gonna tell y'all now, y'all need to talk to a therapist about that, bro. That's crazy. That's that's narcissism at its finest. You need to talk to a therapist. You need therapy. That's a psychological issue. <laughs> that the second the second you don't talk to me for two days or something, or you don't say the response I don't I like, I'm immediately start going talk to like the homegirl. Like that's crazy work, bro. You need therapy, dog. <laughs> We're really honest, okay? Yeah. So we have two that put up <laughs> red flags. Um, I, I want to. Any, any, any more clarification? I'm yeah. just a little bit confused about the player thing because it's oh it's um. <laughs> I mean, so you're so this is you, you you say you only want a guy. Yeah. Who's a serious? Yeah. Lifelong commitment. I yeah, that would be better. Like, um, I want to be settled on like. Oh, just yeah, like I see. You want I like you want him. I ooh, almost. You want a monogamous uh, relationship? Yeah, like kind of long term, like yeah. We've got. But Gene. we have to. Why you red flag me? So the Gene, <laughs> yeah. my, my my issue. You're the player. My, my, my issue. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a player. I'm not a player. But 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 the the what? commitment has me really worried. Uh, you know, because it's it's a lifelong commitment. You know, serious relationship. Uh, a lot of you know, responsibilities. I, I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm Bro, out. his squints are so funny. The way he squint is so... I'm not, about to, I'm not about to play with him. We are a Christian channel, and roasting is not something that we support. That's so. right. It's okay. Hey, that's okay. Um, we still have three guys that have not thrown red flags, and we have... Where Monet, where, deal where, where Monet at? I need her to say a comment for me. Monet... <laughs> Honorable member Monet, Honorable come to member the front. Monet, please uh, say say what you think I'm about to say at this point. If you do watch this video, please, you are you are my voice. <laughs> I need you, gang. <laughs> but Elias, did you have some you were gonna say real quick? Or no, 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 okay, no, let's no, hear no, your no, third just, deal breaker, listen. Nina. Third deal breaker. Uh, Don't I, to lie, Nina. Hey yo. Um, I want him like play basketball because I like play basketball. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, look, he's throwing Hold a red flag. Uh, I don't want to assume things. Cheeks, why are you throwing a red flag? Well, it's not because I don't play basketball. I'm playing basketball. That's why I didn't want to assume. I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's pulling off red flags in the back of my head, the the black and the basketball thing. Mm. It, it, it's, you it's think scary she's going to ask, do you eat watermelon? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I mean. But um, I will say... I loved your energy when you came in. It made me smile. It made me laugh. Uh, first thing you said was just Asian, and that just kind of threw me a uh, left turn. And those things make me laugh. So yeah, it was just I loved your energy. It was Aww, it was great. So you. keep going. So we have yeah. now four that have thrown red flags, two that have not. Um, oh, Elias, you're throwing up a red flag. I mean, if not, if basketball is a deal breaker for you, I don't like basketball at all. Oh. Like, what do you like? <laughs> boxing. Mm. Bo- boxing. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. I can do that we, too. We do that, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Man, you know, you're beating up on that man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh oh. What? What? 
Stop playing. I just need to know if it's a real thing. It's a real thing. We know it's a real thing. Just like wheelchair basketball is a real thing, but it don't need to be. That's crazy. Where do you see the? Do you see the jab? You see the technique? Hold on. Hey, get this video to two hundred likes, and we'll watch a. We'll do a wheelchair boxing reaction. That friend is waving his red flag. Tell us why. Very beautiful. Again, like, as he said, love the energy. You too. It's infectious. Um, just, I'm looking for something a little bit more mentally stimulating. Not to say that she isn't right. I'm just saying that there's something more that I need for me. Is that, that a plane? Uh, you know, I don't really. Southwest coming to pick up jazz. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. Um, so you did retract <laughs> your red flag <laughs> on the basketball thing. On the basketball thing. Um, <laughs> we didn't even get into a lot of it. I don't know if y'all heard it. She said that that play was Southwest coming to pick up Jazz, bro. <laughs> She's so stupid. He said, That's when he flies. Questions, uh, which is great because this could still do you have a an essential question for Nina that could determine this real one relationship. Okay, how do you feel about me having like like female friends? Because I'm a comedian, I'm an actor. You know, I do I work with women a lot. Um, I'm in very close quarters with women all the time. That's not rubbing my tongue. She was, she was looking at me going like this. Yeah, I was, yeah, I'm like, and then the sound. I was like, hello. The red flag didn't go up, but a brown flag almost came up. <laughs> I have had enough. This video. <laughs> All right, comedian. Uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, are that, you going to, you know, what are your thoughts on what, what Elias is sharing? <laughs> He's the comedian. I think it's a match. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elias, would you repeat your question just in case we might have got? Uh, How do you feel about me being around women all the time? Yes, you know. Um. And I'm a hugger. Like I hug. If if I feel you really like me, I feel security. I just it's okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. it depends on yeah. Okay. Okay. But I like a black. <laughs> Oh, oh she likes the black. Wait, so is that? That's that's the. That's, yeah, okay. she don't want Let me you. Borrow that. She likes the black. Um, you can wait. She wants black you soldier number your, thirty-seven. Uh, your, your red flag for Elias because he's not uh, black. It might be black I'm from the, the waist black. down. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm the Mexican yeah. in the Arab. Wow. Okay. Uh, the Mexican. Why? Uh, the, you, oh, you already told us why you uh, prefer black. Okay. Um, well, it looks like all the guys are. Uh, Kind of out, so I'll borrow that red flag. Um, wow, this was a, this was a crazy one. This is a crazy one. Thank you, Nina, um, for coming out. I'm sorry that we couldn't get you one of these real ones, but um... hey, brothers, hey man, we up. <laughs> hey, bro, we up. She's so sweet. Yeah, she's Maybe cool. On a future episode, we'll get you with some. We'll get make sure we get some black guys. Yes, sir. We'll get black. Yes. Yes. We up. Uh, okay. Well, thank you so the much. The black stocks uh, have been through the Nina, roof, baby. Can we still clap it up for Nina? Yeah, of course. Thank you, so much. thank you, Nina. Uh, you can make your way out that way. We appreciate you. Thank you. Wow. All right. All right. Anastasia, come on in. You can stand on the red X. On the red Sarah. X. Pilates. <laughs> Girl, why you look like Judy B. Jones? Bro, this is like... What? <laughs> she looks so bad. Like, she about to tear some stuff up. She reminds me of Judy B. Jones with the little uh little cut in the uh long sleeve roll it's like a shirt. It's like an eighth grader type fit. Yeah, this is uh this is uncomfortable. Monet, I need you to say a comment that I wanted to say, but I can't say it. Thank you, honorable members. All right, everybody. Uh, why don't you tell us your name, your age, and what you do? Uh, hi, everyone. My no, name is that, Anastasia. That is the voice I I'm thought it was going to be. I'm years old, and I'm a filmmaker. That's my favorite movie, child. That that was the exact voice I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's crazy work. That is the exact voice. Matter of fact, Monet, you don't got to say it. <laughs> that was the exact voice I was going to say it was. <laughs> Okay, nice. we're looking good so far. Tell us, Anastasia, what are three deal breakers that you have when it comes to relationships? Uh, I don't have any deal breakers. I don't like to judge, to be honest. I just either feel it or I don't. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't uh, have some stereotypical rules. Oh, wow. I think most men appreciate that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, how about this? Uh, give me three things then that make you a catch, make you a real one. Mm, I really like when... Um, 
when I meet my soulmate, uh, I like when a person is reliable, when I can, when I can tr trust a person, and uh, when we're just like being honest with each other and sincere. I think that's the most important for me. But what, how does that make it. you? How does that make you a catch? Though? She didn't understand the question. Yeah, no, that's not. Uh, the language barrier. We do okay. have a, a red flag. Is that you putting up? Okay, cheeks. Tell yeah. us why. Um, I'm a strong believer in. You have to know what you don't want in order to know what you want. You know, sometimes it's easier to kind of dwindle down the numbers that way. And I feel like if you go into something not knowing what you want, then it's kind of a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, the the lack of red flags and other things just kind of uh, pull up a red flag for me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Elias. Did you have a question or you just... No, just I love when you do that because I, I don't know. Oh, Jazz, you're putting up a red flag. Yeah. Okay, so Cheeks, you're good. Jazz, tell us why a red flag. I feel like if I brought you home to my grandma, she would love you. But I just feel like I would end up being dissatisfied. Mm. Mostly because I like chocolate and thicker and you're a different. freaky frog. But I that's, that's what you are. You're a freaky frog. You're a freaky frog. <laughs> a freaky just, frog. Just say that, bro. Jazz want to be in Miami. He don't want to be here, bro. I feel like you and me would like get along on a family kind of a thing, but I just wouldn't love you, which is why I feel like, wow. yeah, you know what I mean? You seem like such a family. Like you seem like you're, you'd be an amazing mother. You're for somebody else. You're not mine. So wow. that's why I just have flag up. Okay, not thank you. The red flag is just, you're not for me. Okay, okay. Jazz. Okay, awesome. Now, Sephron, is that you? Yes. Doing a red flag? Jazz, <laughs> okay. Bro, the character change from Jazz from the two point minute of this video to the 43rd is just phenomenal. <laughs> He didn't get the girl that he wanted in the beginning, so now he gonna act out. Yeah, he wanted that. He wanted that black queen. The red flag on his beanie. Okay, tell us why, Sephora. Uh, very respectfully, as Jazz stated, you know, just not for me as far as uh, the attraction. However, beautiful. Um, Thank you. For me, more so, I'm interested in the film aspect, so I would also want to like pick your brain on actually doing business, and I don't want to mix business with pleasure. That would be another thing. So you know, sure, just. Okay. All right. So we do have three red flags. So another red flag. Uh oh. So we go with him. I mean, I, I I feel terrible doing this. Um, I I just get the. I feel like you want to have kids. You talk uh, like specs, at some point, my bro. Uh, I haven't decided yet, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I, I I my sixth sense tells me that you're looking for uh, like uh, Jazz was saying. Um, you know, something very very. Um, family oriented Star Wars kids. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't know. I can't take that chance. I'm, you know, there's people in life where you just want to like, you just want to, you know what? <laughs> I was trying not to say that, Punch. but that Punch. Yeah. Yeah. No dude. Fruit. Like, I feel like that dude, if he was in, like, if he was in my, like my, my group chat or something, bro, he would be that person that whenever he types something, we immediately just want to be like... No, I'm deleting the group chat every time. Yeah, like, bro, like, why did you type... Like, I don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm deleting it every time. I don't know. I'm trying to be nice, bro. I'm trying to be cool, bro. You know, today was a good day, bro. Okay. All right. Well, Avery and Elias have not thrown red flags yet, which is good. Um, <laughs> do you have a question for either one of these gentlemen? Um, I would like to ask both of these gentlemen, uh, what do they do and uh, what are their hobbies? Very good, Avery, you can start. Okay, so I'm a personal trainer and an actor, uh, and I like to surf. Everybody's an actor. I'm a comedian, How much they paying, I'm a comedian actor. I like to work out, doing pulse mm -hmm. random mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you have another question for them, or I can throw it to them, um, but one more question maybe? Okay, where are you from? I grew up in California. Okay. Same thing, Cali, Los Angeles. What okay. yourself? Uh, I'm from Ukraine. Okay. Awesome. Oh, okay. Now, did either one of you gentlemen have a question for nice. Anastasia? Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. You have both your parents? Dang. Say it again. Do you have both your parents? Yes, I do. Okay. Like. Okay. Awesome. Avery, did you have a question? What are some things that you like to do for fun? Uh, apart from movies, which I do both for fun and for my professional work, I also, um, okay, back in Ukraine, I had a scooter and I did Moto Gymkhana. Not on the motorbike, but on the scooter. But like maybe eventually I will uh, buy a motorbike here also. Like some, I would, I would like to something small, 
like maybe Honda Groom or whatever. And uh, also I did martial arts once again back in Ukraine. I did uh, Kung Fu. Uh, but Kung Fu? No, Kung Fu. Kung Fu? Kung she, Fu? She, she, she said Kung Fu. No, she Kung Fu. Yeah, Kung Fu. What uh, is it? Oh, I guess it is kung fu. I didn't know they, I didn't know they taught kung fu in Ukraine. That's that's interesting, they bro. Teach, I'm pretty sure they teach martial arts everywhere. No, but kung fu is a specific. It's a Chinese martial art, so uh, that's why I, I'm like, dang, they teaching that in Ukraine. But for now, it's mostly Kelly. like my past hobbies. But I still like. I mean, like I I enjoyed Asian culture and all of that. So, so yeah, that's it. Okay. Don't know. Are we throwing up? We putting up a red flag? Yeah, I would say just not for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amazing, but it's not for me. Okay. Um, Avery, red flag as well. Tell us why. I'm sorry. Um, I just think I'm getting a little bit of like a awkwardness, shy vibe, and I kind of already have that, so I just don't think we would match. <laughs> I need a girl that's like very like energetic and outgoing. And okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Well, I am sorry we weren't able to find you a real one, but we sure do thank you for coming out. Can we clap it up for Anastasia? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, man. She, head out she was way. cool. Thank you so much. We're going to get ready for our next real one. Wow. He said, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like the and welcome <laughs> back, folks. Uh, I I made the mistake of looking at your face reaction. <laughs> Cause you have the you had the same reaction I had in my brain just now. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's not against her. It's not it's, against I her, I bro. Know, I don't know when women started singing their words, but it that's a pet peeve of mine. Like I want you. Like I don't like that crap. It. <laughs> I feel like The Bachelor. <laughs> Bro, it's... Ah! 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 Come on, oh. come on, come on. We got it, we got it. We, I got it. it. We locked in, bro. To share your name, your age, and what you do. My real age? Whatever you'd like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always talking Already Okay, my name's okay. Taylor. I'm actually 29, but I like to say I'm 26. And what... <laughs> You know what's crazy? Um, uh, I was I was on TikTok and I saw a freaking post and it was a chick that looked like her, but it wasn't her. And she was like, uh, she's like, when the guy when the guy's older, so you gotta bump your age up, or when the guy like you feel me? And at first I was like, that sounds kind of predatory, right? And then I looked in the comments and it was just full of like 16 17 year old girls like dude like shoot i'll be 21 in a heartbeat and i'm just like that this is this is this is kind of the reason why we got all these big youtubers and all that being sickos and all that because we're looking at it from like the people who are who are pursuing after these young girls and we're calling them out but i didn't like a lot of people forget that there are i I, I like to call them reverse predators. There are like, there are some manipulative younger people who enjoy pursuing after older people, if that makes any sense. Cause dude, I was like, bro, I it took me like, I had to scroll. I was like, bro, where am I gonna find the one comment of somebody saying like, y'all, this is not weird to y'all that y'all are 15, 16, 17 year olds saying that you guys have no problem lying about your age to get a 25, 26 year old. And I do, I had to scroll and guess what? Guess what? When I finally found it, guess, guess what type of person this was that was in there. I'm not going to guess. Cause I'm going to say something that's going to get us kicked off of YouTube. So go ahead and say it, it was, it was a male. Okay. A male was the first person out of hundreds of comments to finally say, Y'all don't think this is weird that y'all are lying about y'all age to get older men? And guess what happened? He got like 30, 40 comments underneath him telling him to shut up. 
And so I'm just like, bro, this this line about your age thing, I I feel like they gotta be there gotta be some I don't know, bro. So well, don't if you're gonna get us this camp, segment is already long. I'm not even going. No. Oh. Don't have to talk about it. It's a discussion. I think I don't give a crap about people feel. If we talking, we talking. Uh I was gonna say it is it is predatory. Uh no matter how you look at it on both ends. Yeah. Um but that's part of that this this new thing that they got going on called like the it's like it's called like age age switching or something like that. They're trying age to make No, they're trying to make it legal to where that if a sixteen year old identifies as a twenty nine year old and they're in relations with somebody that's twenty nine, it's not called it's not statutory or it's not really? predatory. But yeah, they're trying to do that. It is the same thing with with your with your gender. If you identify as I'm a female, I can identify as a black fifteen year old male. Wow. Yes. Y'all better pay attention to what's going on. Hey man, y'all better start reading your Bibles because that crap. I was thinking about it. I'm like, bro, we we. Of course, that with all due shame, men who go after younger 15, 16, 17 year old girls, with all due shame, I, even 18, I still think you being 35 going for an 18 year old is weird. I feel like don't people shouldn't approach people till they're like 20. But it, it's just like to know that there is there is females who are who are actively lying about their age to get older men, but then as soon as the older men finds out the truth and don't want no no like oh I don't want nothing to do it's with you. It's narcissism because they gaslight men. They gaslight men once they find out their actual age. And um, it's like, oh I'm gonna expose you now. Yeah, it's like bro. Yeah, it's narcissism. Like, can we talk about that? It's narcissism. What do you do? I just like be chilling. <laughs> I I studied law. I actually used to be a lawyer. But then I moved to California because I quit working at a law firm. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. All right, I did see two red flags thrown. Let's start with Avery. Avery, why the red flag? So right off the bat, you said you, you like to say you're 26, but you're actually 29. I like complete honesty. Um, and also you said that you're just She's chilling. She's throwing gum in yeah. the mic. But well, I just moved here like uh, two weeks ago, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, normally I like a girl that's like very passionate about something um, and very driven. And I know that you said you just moved here, so that could be totally different. Oh. So, but I'm just gonna have a reflect. Okay. The, and Elias, the, you threw the, the yeah, yeah. All right, tell us why. It was the age thing. I mean, if we could work on it, then we could work on it. But I don't like the one, just the honesty, and two, not being comfortable with yourself. Hmm. I'm kind of just yeah. joking, but yeah. <laughs> do you want to retract it, or do you want to tell her your age? Tell her your age. Tell Taylor your age. How old? I'm 37. Cute. I'm retracted. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you just the, like uh, uh, you feel me, and so it's making the, it's making that TikTok look like even more like bro. Like I don't I don't agree I don't agree with it. I never rocked with it. I don't care for it, and I don't feel sorry for women that do it or girls that do it because you know what you're doing. And even if somebody's manipulating you or swaying you to say something or do something that you shouldn't be doing, you need to be going to tell somebody. But it's just like, I right, nah, bro. Yeah, it's, it's predatory. I don't care. Like what is like there needs to be a law or something that because I feel like a lot of a lot of good dudes probably do get trapped up in that because they're believing the, the chick and then it come out like, oh yeah, by the way, I've been lying to you this whole no, time. I'm actually need to start showing ID. Yeah. Start showing ID. Yeah. Cover up your address. Start showing ID because at the end of the day, anybody can say anything to yeah. get somebody's attention or to do be able to do something with somebody. But nah. Mm -mm. Nah, hundred percent. I feel like dating mm -hmm. right now, you to to date, you should be able to legally ask. Hey, I need to see ID before it's, we continue. It's different now because like when our parents and stuff was coming up, they were getting IDs and licenses at the age of like 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Typically, these day and ages, a lot of people don't even get their ID until they're like 20, 21, or their license until they're like 20 and up. So, yeah, so yeah. No, I, that's I always joke Second around retraction. about that. I don't actually lie <laughs> about my age. I'm just so scared of being 30. 
No, you shouldn't. You no, shouldn't be. You should embrace the unknown. Yeah, yeah. So we only have then one red flag. Um, let's do this, Taylor. Say that again. Let's set up was that? your three. The wine thing. Oh, yeah, nah, like you aging perfectly. You aging just like wine. Yeah, it's just like an insecurity, I guess. We'll get past that. Oh, girl. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah? Uh, how do you feel about karaoke and like just the outgoing... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for asking you for karaoke, but I, how do you feel about karaoke? I mean, honestly, like how do you feel about like the going out and... You know, oh, going I to bars karaoke. together and all I will rap Eminem on karaoke mm. or just a small town girl. Because I'm a Midwest girl. I'm from Michigan. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So when I say, like, I just get your people, here, please. So I quit my job at a law firm because I was I doing criminal that. law and it was just kind of like emotionally affecting me too much. I was taking my work home like so much. I got too emotionally invested and it was like, mm. like hurting me. Mm. I, I really respect that, and I, and I want to commend you for, for doing that because that's, it's very brave to, to – uh, because I, I, I did a similar thing when I moved here from Florida. You know, I kind of just, you know, started fresh here. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is well, – well, before you go to your next question, oh, yeah, we want to make sure oh, – yeah, tell yeah. us your three deal breakers. Three, my, my three deal at breakers? At least three. Yeah, just give me three, though. Three max, but give me three. I don't like a guy who is – comfortable with the bare minimum mm. like i want to build an empire together like mm. let's start a, a business together like let's like build and like bust our and like have something like for our kids in the future to like work at i just i don't like a guy who's like comfortable you know mm -hmm. like i want mm -hmm. like like but i want to build mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. so i i don't like like a guy who's like well i'm working a nine to five and like we're good mm -hmm. like no like let's do better mm -hmm. so that's a deal breaker I don't like a guy who doesn't motivate me. Mm -hmm. Like, I've dealt with, no, like, let's just, like, lay in bed and, like, cuddle. Like, no, b let's go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, let's work our ass off together. And okay. I also don't like a guy who can't, like, just do, like, silly, stupid stuff, like, once in a while. Hmm. Like, let's go skinny dipping in the ocean. And they'll be like, no, we don't need to oh, do that. No, like, we have a bed at home. Like, let's you she gonna come back home with crabs. She little crabs. <laughs> I'm not in no ocean with you. Heck no. No, sir, no, ma'am. Oh no. You swimming in fish pee. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Let's do something crazy once in a while. Like we work our ass off. Like hmm. let's have fun. That's crazy enough once for me. Once in a while. But I also I'm don't like going. somebody who doesn't know how to balance like fun and right and work. Right. And you right. have to have a balance. Yeah. But you need the fun part a little, but you got to know when to stop. Of course. I respect that. I admire that. So you know? no red flags thrown yet. Do we have an essential? It doesn't like we're feeling. Does anyone, just oh, one person? Sorry, no, hold on. Like her. Yeah, she cool. But homeboy, home, uh, Caucasian boy need to throw up his little flag because he been throwing it up. I don't do commitment. I don't do children. I can't trust. You threw it up for everybody. You ain't throwing it up a single time with her. He's strolling, but I don't think he going to get her. An essential. Okay, Sephiroth. In, re in regard to the... Um, the lawyer aspect, you know, your choice of career. Um, I know you elaborated as to why you uh, stepped away from it, which is understandable. Um, how long did you practice? And were you defense or were you? So I worked for the public defender's office and I did criminal law. This is my thing. I could go business or tax law, but it's good money. It's tedious and I, I don't feel like emotionally connected to it. I felt emotionally connected to criminal law, but I worked for the public defender so I had to do emergency hearings and I dealt with like children and families oh. and like that shit with me. Yeah. I can't see like a Are mom you? and a dad fighting and a little kid there okay. like that shit with my head, you know? So I think I need to build a more of a rapport and have a private practice and not I, 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 I can't see like little kids and like parents and stuff like I want to take those kids home with me you know I can't I, I couldn't do it so that answers your question Sephra yeah, let's I'll do this that. any red flags right now no red flags Avery I'm gonna borrow your red flag we got to start to narrow this down because it Eddie, seems like Eddie. we're feeling Tay Tay it seems <laughs> like it. so I'm so gonna hand this to you unless we have a red flag jazz no red flag right or do we I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it marinate. It's like halfway up. Okay, let it marinate. <laughs> <laughs> now, Taylor, I want you. We still have five very sexy gentlemen right here, ready Thank to roll. You. I want you to eliminate. Appreciate two. that. You have to base <laughs> off something you might have heard them say, or just off appearance. <laughs> I want you to eliminate well, I'm not two that guys. that shallow though. Can I ask them questions? Yes. Just want, ask them one, so we can narrow it down. Oh, ask them one that determine whether you. I'm keep like them not or not. like an appearance person. I'm. 
Who, how spontaneous do you feel that you are on a scale of one to ten? And just give us the number. I like 11. I got Jazz? DTF on the first date. That's, wait a minute. That's, I mean. <laughs> you a dirty dog. Jazz, Jazz, is a, Jazz is a one night stand dude. That's the type of dude he's become. I feel like this show, this show is cool. Uh, once Davi left the show, uh, it started, it felt like the serious level of it just kind of like dipped, you know? It's not a number, but it does I'm answer the question. I'm not against it. DTF on the dating show. I hate slut shaming, too. Okay. That but like answer. spontaneous, like if I mm. say like, let's go to f Mexico for a week, like, it, would you be down? Spontaneity. Does can Look we pick somewhere else besides Mexico, please? <laughs> <laughs> Tulum is a vibe. I want to go to Mexico you. actually, so I'll. Put I stayed that. in hostels and yeah. I touristed, but I don't want. I don't want to go to a resort. I'll go to Miami if I want a resort. I'm from Miami actually. Live like actually, a tourist. So, yeah. Live like a tourist. Get those dollar so tacos. Bad. Live like a yeah. tourist. So let's do numbers. Do so she asked on a scale of one to ten. Jean, so scale I'm of gonna 10. I'm gonna be a little bit conservative and just go with eight point seven five. Okay. Very specific. On the spontaneity. <laughs> Because it depends, obviously, on the circumstances, but I'm going to go 8.75. Okay. Cheeks. I think I'm going to say around a... I'd say about a 7. Okay. Yeah. Sephron. I would say, again, that if you look at the word uh, spontaneity and you try to find the definition... Okay, uh, me, come on, man. Because I'm a perfect balance of both. I okay. know. Mm -hmm. So what number? I'm the definition. So, bro, okay, so he, your, right. your number. All right, unk, him because he just did unk, the whole. Just unk yapping, bro. He just did the whole. What do you bring to the table? I am the table. Bro. When you right. see so, nephew, yeah. the table is just a psychological breakdown of the system. Like, bro, just yeah. say the gosh dang number, number bro. Shut up. Just What's say the, the number. number. It'll like freaking ask you to. T we know you're intelligent, uncle. We get it. We know you're smart. Dang, bro. Number can't be defined because you are spontaneity. So I have to okay. eliminate two of them? You got to eliminate two based off those responses. Uh, I was about to be like, him. he's the camera guy. Because <laughs> I know you weren't talking. Uh, you guys all seem like lit. Um, Don't put that in your mouth. Oh, my gosh. Got to eliminate two? I'll eliminate not him. Not which one? Not, not the red jacket. Okay, that's separate. Not him. Okay. This one. Well, he was already. He, he put that, a red flag. So can I? But yeah, I know. So can, okay, so you can I pick him? It. You doubling it? Okay. Okay, I'll eliminate him and. Well, he was already out. So you got to choose two. Not on top of him. him? Yeah, because he he put the red flag. He stepped out. Okay, Don't walk up too two. much. Those two. Those two. Okay, tell us why. Start with why are you eliminating my man Gene? Literally because I just had to pick two. Okay. <laughs> Is that the same reason for cheeks? Same reason. I just had to pick. Okay. I, and I'm, yeah, I just had to. Okay, so you're left with three. Sephirin, Jazz, and Elias. Do you have another question to help narrow this down? What are your thoughts on children? Great question. What? My mom wants some grab babies. I want to give her some. Would you, do you think that you'd be a good dad? Am I, yes. Don't am have I, children if you're gonna. If, if don't don't do it, bro. He just don't even look serious. You know, don't he, do it. He's, he's just, just, Jazz is a certified crash out. He is a crash out, bro. <laughs> Ready? No. Am I probably still gonna do it? Yes. Oh. And do I want her to be more prepared than me? Yes. Nah, bro. Um, have nah, I ever wanted to date a mom just so I can learn more? Nope. Yes. Um. So yes. Okay. Okay. Elias, Taylor's question. Uh, I would like to have him, but if I don't. I'm cool because I raised four of my nephews, so I've okay. already experienced like Respect. parental. He got gang tattoo in his head in the middle of the night, changing diapers, taking them to school, picking them up from school, parent conference. So I've already, I've already done that, you know. So I'm there. And Sephron, I don't have kids, but I would love children. Okay. Simple and sweet. Now, Taylor, let me ask you this: 39? Do you have children? Mm -hmm. I have a daughter. You have one daughter. How old is she? Nine. Okay. Is that okay with you guys? You yeah. three? Yeah, ain't no problem. Wait, what? She has a nine-year-old daughter. Her dad is actually deported, so I'm a single mom. Is that why you wanted to go to Mexico? Oh. He's not from Mexico. <laughs> <Disney. laughs> Wait a minute, bro. <laughs> Whoa. The host just blew up the spot. Wait a Yo, minute. Yo, hey, sometimes there's things that we think. 
that we should not say. He could have got deported from anywhere. Yeah, bro. That is... When she said deported, I did not immediately think of Mexico. I did <laughs> There's so many... There, bro. <laughs> Go to Mexico. Uh, my stereotypicalism. <laughs> uh, okay, but anyway, uh, so that's okay with you three, that she has a, a daughter. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you have another question, Taylor? We got to start to narrow down. If not, if you don't have a question, I'm going to ask you to what eliminate is your, What do you do for a living? Separate. Oh, Lord. I'm a truck driver, but I'm trying to expand upon that. I'm trying to delve into different fields. So okay. I'm trying to use my creative mind right now. Truck driver. Jazz? And just give us three. Wait. Oh. <laughs> give us three things that you do. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, so if you guys, I'm just going to give the main one because I could talk a lot about it. Um, I love your necklace. That's so cute. He Anyways. Made it. Girl, let me focus. Okay, <laughs> let me. Give me one. Glaze me, glaze me, I'm glaze. a musician. I love my craft. I'm a sync licensing composer, so I'm trying to get my music on movies that okay. get me money okay. for having the movies played. Nope. You're creative. Yes. Okay. And Elias. Comedian actor. You know what? I want to know, are, they, are these dudes socials in this, in this thing? Let's see. What? Dang. Yes. Yeah, he put them all. Jazz. On. Where's Jazz? Right there. Oh, that's the, Jasmine. A oh, freaking. Okay. J Jazzy. Is it this one? Okay. Okay. Drewski? Oh, so he, he a big time, big time. Hey, is that? Cause I want he, what? Who who did right here? Oh, I thought that was uh, WWE. My bad. Schoolboy Q. Nah, it's cause the reason why I'm, I was saying that is because I'm like he said Minecraft, so I'm like, is this a big Minecraft YouTuber dude? But apparently, bro, bro, really make jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so bro, I'm really making it. So, but my thing is this, right? With with this, if this is how you you boom it. Oh, he did. This. Okay. Okay. But my thing is, if he's really booming like this, um, old girl's question about like him having his own spot. I don't see why that was a, a difficult thing for him to. Maybe because uh. Because when typically people like this, if he does make the amount of money that most people would assume that he's making because he's a musician and stuff, then it's probably like a kind of like a, a like a like a temperature check type thing. Like yeah. I do all these things, but I don't quote unquote have my own place because when you find out how much I fly and how much money I got. Yeah, and gold digger. Kind of he don't want yeah. to. He don't want a gold digger. Okay. I'm gonna say temperature okay, check. but now that I know what he is, I'm gonna look at his whole thing at a different perspective now because it's like now I just feel like he's. I genuinely feel like he's trolling. Is 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 genuinely trolling at this point now? Okay. Well, Taylor, you got to put up a red flag. You got to eliminate one. We got to narrow it down. Jazz is thug. I'm like. So, uh, uh, it's not very. So I, I leave two of them. Yes, you'll have. Okay, two. I keep the, these so two. So those that have already been eliminated. I oh. keep him and him. So why are you? I can't give him a red flag because I don't have a red flag for him. I think he like, he likes is like super cool. So you're only eliminating him because you kind of had to. Because I have to. No, he seems like like awesome. Okay. Do you have an essential question to ask these two? We're we're cutting it close. You're about to have your real one, perhaps. Do you have a question for Jazz or Sephiroth? That could be a deal breaker. What would question. you consider your red flag? Mm, good question. What would your ex girlfriend say about mm. you <laughs> if she was here? Well, I was going to say you remind me of my ex girlfriend. That's like my biggest red flag. In what way? The old me loves you, and <laughs> the, the man I'm growing into has a tendency to want to stay away from you. Okay. Why? Okay. Because. I have a rubric that I know, and she fits a good chunk of it, but not all of it. And eventually, I will find dissatisfaction in the little parts mm. that I don't. Mm. Okay. Have. Yeah. That. Do you want to? Are you are you putting up a red flag? Or are you kind of marinating? I, 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 it, it, it's gonna. It's so it's not up today, but it will go up. So I will put it up because I know eventually it will not work out 
Okay. But um, that being said. So now that we know that he's like a, a celebrity, basically, essentially, right? Is it just that these are the these are the type of women that he has easy access to? And so now he's saying that he's he can get you all the, these type of women all the time. So now he's like, eventually, the man I'm trying to be, I don't want these type of girls no more. Is that what it is? It, I mean, it it could be. I really, I really don't know because uh, he's confusing me, dog. Like, I feel like this is just for entertainment purposes. Yeah. I don't think it's like all the way serious. If it turns serious, that's cool for them, like for the people on the show and stuff like that. But um, yeah, Jazz is a character, so he's he's rocking yeah, out. Yeah, like he's rocking out. He's doing yeah. His authenticity and his. I would definitely uh, date you, especially with the uh, family thing and all these things and then be nice and boost your confidence and all that stuff but i am not him oh we got it now <laughs> separate answer her question because i still want to see if we can work something out here phrase the question please or what do you think your red flag is my red flag mm -hmm. being shallow being shallow being shallow we're all a little shallow to a degree but you know it, it extends beyond depth when someone goes to just being shallow like how? Uh -huh. Like what do you mean? Are you shallow? Most people don't, in my opinion, right, know how to go beyond surface level of things, like the shallowness of certain subjects, like especially when it comes to saying? money, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to women and, and men, in most cases for me, that topic in life in general sometimes is just, I don't know, it's shallow. You know, like something that turns me off is someone that's just shallow minded. Bro just gave us word soup. Yeah. I hate it when people, like, when, when you're trying to describe something or break something down to people, adding more complex words to what you're trying yeah. to say does yeah. not make your argument stand out. You're, if you're trying to make the discussion that you feel like people are too shallow and you don't like shallowness and people ask you, can you expand on it? It's easy to say a lot of people are just too worried about the superficial thing and they don't know how to take it past just the superficial to actually understand people beyond what they have. It's about the person that has it. The complexity of the surface level shallowness. Yeah, it's so to subjective to the. It's like, bro, this is what I be talking about. Some of y'all, y'all get, y'all get so, y'all, y'all do the word of the day, and then that word got to be in y'all vocabulary for the rest of y'all life. Sometimes you overcomplicate your intelligence, and it makes it a disconnect because nobody wants to hear that. If I ask you, why don't you like the color red? I don't need you to describe the color red and the circumference of the color spectrum when you could put it compared to 2.53 equals red, but 2.54 equals red violet. Like, don't do that crap because you're making people not want to listen to you. So you don't like people that are shallow? No, I do not. It's unattractive. Oh yeah, no, me, I don't either. So I like somebody's mind. That's my red flag. It's right. Oh, yeah. You're that's a green question. flag. Yeah. I, yeah. I think you like that. Yeah. You like that about it. I mean, I feel like when you're very young, like you look at someone, you're like, oh, they're so hot. But it's like, do you like them? Like after, like, can I say like, like, a like better, after you, you still want them in your bed? A better example. I don't want no. to talk to you because of your zodiac sign. That's someone who's shallow. You that's stupid. Okay. Stupid. Wow, What's your like fire that. sign? Are you a rising <laughs> blah blah blah? What the f does that sh mean? Well, that's your ah! for, oh my gosh! What? Finally, hey man, she might be. She, I'm rooting for her. I, I, I like. I mean, I don't have a problem with nah, her. Nah, she was cool the when whole she, time. When she lied about the little age thing, but she was joking. But still, don't you know? Don't yeah, don't do. Don't play like that. Don't play around like that. Andrea. Like what the f is the point of that? I was born in December. What does that have anything to do with anything? So do you have one more? Because it seems like y'all are definitely connecting on that level. Do you have one more essential question? Because if not, then I'm going to have him come up and we might... I don't have to ask him anything. I think he's cool. Do you have one more question for Taylor? Will you marry me? Do you marry me? My guy is <laughs> smooth, <laughs> bro. <laughs> come on up. He's smooth, bro. Separate, come on up. Separate, come on up. Separate, come on up. Oh. Stand next to me. Stand next to Uncle's me. Uncle's cool, though. You can leave though. your red flag there. You can leave your red flag. Oh, you're going to do it up there. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Let's narrow it down. Taylor, do you have one more question for him? No. So <laughs> like, what's your zodiac sign? No. <laughs> no, I, no, no, not really. 
I wouldn't Saffron? even know what it meant. Do you have one more question for Taylor? How tall are you without the hills? Like five, five and a half. Okay. Well, then my question for you two is, uh, do you feel that this could be a real one relationship? I mean, maybe, but it's only been like 20 minutes. Well, based <laughs> on possibly, this interaction. So far, so good. I'm going to give it a green flag. Clap it up for a green flag. That these two real ones uh, have worked it out. Take this. Oh, oh, I want y'all to be, yeah, I want y'all to keep the hands. And you can walk that way. You can walk that way. Wow. Thank you, folks. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. Well, that's, that's how nice we do it. Okay. And you are gonna stand on the red X. I'm gonna get Okay, you so I'm gonna say this. This show is good. I like it. Um things he needs to fix. And I'm gonna just say this because I'm I have it on top of my mind. This show would have probably got him a lot more results or he would have got more positive feedback. Is just that the minor inconveniences are what are going to cause people to click off of it, right? One, the quality of the video. We are in the era of the 4K, 8K, 16K. 1080p is the standard. You should not be uploading anything under 1080p because everybody's at 1080p. At least be at the standard. Um, audio, the planes, the cars, the the loud things. I get it. That's an audio thing. But then it, I also understand that a lot of these issues can be avoided if you would just make sure your contestants understand, speak into the mic, and then constantly remind them, if you're not speaking into the mic, you're messing up production. Um, All these cuts where we're seeing like the background, if we're seeing your cameraman, and we're seeing the, the door that the people are coming out of, don't show us that. Because when you show us that, it's going to it's it's going to take us out of it. You get what I'm saying? But other than that, I I genuinely like the show. How you feel? It's cool. Yeah, it's genuinely a good show. It is good. It's just those little things. I understand why because if it's their first time doing it, it's, yeah, you know, people, they, there's still room for growth. So I don't. Yeah, because you're at 103k. One percent of your people did watch it. Your one percent did watch it, but. It's little things that would make people click off, which is killing your own retention. So it's like, other than that, it's a good show. I'm actually enjoying this. All righty, folks, we are back. Why don't you tell us your name, your age, and what you do? Okay. I'm Caitlin. I'm 25, and I work in marketing. Okay. Hi. Now, how about you tell us this? Tell us three deal breakers that you have when it comes to a relationship. Okay, three deal breakers. Uh, someone with a big ego. I don't really like oh, that. Man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I think someone who doesn't ask questions. I don't really like mm -hmm. that. Um, and someone who doesn't like to try new things because I love to go on adventures. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, I don't see any red flags yet. Let me ask my next question. What makes you a real one? What makes you a catch? Okay. Um, I think I'm a catch because I love to go on road trips, so I'm always down to go see new things, travel. I yeah, I actually saw the entire U.S. except for Hawaii and Alaska. But you can't drive there, so mm -hmm. that's kind okay. of tough. so. I think that's pretty pretty real. I guess pretty cool. That's awesome, dude. Jazz, it looks like oh, it looks like we have a red flag. Cheeks, yeah. tell us why. <laughs> I think this might be more of a red flag on my end. Um, <laughs> okay. I I don't like road trips too much. Um, so they yeah, I, I get very frustrated with the way that people drive or don't drive, yep. kind of thing. And by the time we get to anywhere over like two hours away, I'm just tired. I need a nap. No, especially here in LA, mm -hmm. I it's frustrating. So you definitely yep. need patience. Yeah. I feel that, and it took me a minute to like really get it down. Um, like, but once I found like a good podcast and books, so I I totally understand. That's that makes sense. <laughs> thank okay. you for your honesty, though. Appreciate Always, it. thank you. Yeah. So we can play that. Else, we have four four remaining jazz. It looks like you have a question. I'm very inquisitive. <laughs> I just wanted to wait my turn. Okay. So. Yeah, I want you to ask. I want you to ask a question. Okay. First of all, familiar. I like that you're in marketing. Are you a dancer by any chance? I'm not. I wish that would be amazing. If okay. I could have like one superpower trait, like that would be it. Honestly. Yeah, I could have sworn dancing? you were a dancer. Yeah. Now, hold up. That won't stop me though. Like going out, I would still dance for sure. That's right. <laughs> That's right. 
Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do this. Um, do any, do you three have a question? I just want to. Do you like sure. karaoke? <laughs> you know, I've only done it once, but I enjoyed it when I did it, and I'll definitely go do it again. It's okay. Fun. Yeah. Awesome. She, she looks like, um, like one of these Nickelodeon, like, child actors. I can't remember who, though. <laughs> do you like karaoke, though? You need to go to a bingo. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, you're in the wrong bingo. environment. Right. That's great. It's <laughs> good to know. Like, do you like karaoke? That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, how about this? Um, children. Are children, children a deal breaker for you? Whether they have children, whether they don't want children, tell us about that. I am actually like pretty um, in the middle for that. I'm like not against it or for it. I'm like. If I have them, I'm like, yes, so for it. But also, if I didn't, I'm not going to cry about that. So, yeah, I'm not like super passionate about either yes or no. I don't answer Do you that. agree with I that? Have to put it up. Oh, oh, Jazz putting it up. Jazz, tell us why. I, I have to. I, I personally okay. have to. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Are you like a big passion about it or no? I want to give my, gra- my, my mama grandbabies. Yeah. I want to give my mama grandbabies. Sure. I'm really big on that. Um, you're both ways, but um, there's a couple of things that I've already like. Mm, mm, That's cute, though. That's good that you know what you want. That's Thank cute. You. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Now, Avery, did you have a question? Or you're just still marinating, feeling yeah. it out? I love it. Eli, Bro, you really said nothing this time. I, I got a statement first. <laughs> yeah? I, by far, to me, you're the most beautiful mother walk in right now. The outfit's crazy. Oh, thank you. Glaze, 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 <laughs> glaze. <laughs> it's all over. He's doing tricks on it. <laughs> there have been a lot. There have been a lot of ladies. By thank far, you. the outfit is just, oh, you know. Thank you. Oh, my top gosh. It up. <laughs> the sound. The sound. Um, Appreciate it. Do you smoke cigarettes? I don't think so, but do you oh smoke cigarettes? Oh, my gosh. I actually smoked my first one ever this weekend. Ever, literally. Okay. okay. Yeah. You, you, you must have had a hard week to smoke yes, that. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, it's good. It's nice. Oh Are God. cigarettes <laughs> a deal breaker for you? Man, I'll give a oh. How beautiful she is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's her. not like a habit but of mine or anything. Like no, literally, I just was like, bucket I just, I just, list, yeah. had to try yeah, it one yeah, time. Yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Um, I think that was a great question. Uh, my, my next question is, well, unless What's you have a question. Caitlin, do you have a question for them? Not. What's on my bucket list? Yeah, because that's an interesting smoke a, cig- smoke a cigarette. That's an interesting thing to put on your bucket list. My... I think you already know what's on my bucket list. It concerns a bird, but we're not going. We're not going to go into it. But you, you know, you know what it is. There's it, many birds. You so know, which bird? The one that started a war. Hey man, we got we have a, a problem. There's a there's bro. a farm out here. I'm just but saying. We ain't got no farm. I'm just saying. If I ever get to that point, if this if this YouTube stuff don't work out, that bird might be in action. I'm just saying. We got I got to think about the end game here. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, tired. If this YouTube stuff don't work out, <laughs> I'm just saying. That bird might be in action, man. I already know. If I think of any, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. So we're looking at three <laughs> handsome devils um, right now. The question, the question is, is you there for the ride? Is you down with me? You already know. I, Man, I'm not about to get locked up because you want to be out here having <laughs> birds run across the nation doing, they, doing stuff they ain't got no business doing. I can't even say what you're trying to have them do. is the product, the bird, and bandanas. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand. Like, um, it's it's they don't pretty have a simple. Question, right? Jane, do you have a question? I, I do not have a question at the moment. Wow. So can't I'm going to ask to borrow Cheek's flag. Please. Um, Kaylin, you're going to have to make a tough decision. You're going to okay. have to eliminate one of these okay. handsome devils based off something they have said, haven't said, or even based on appearance. Hmm. Okay. And not one wow. that's already out. So it's got to be Jean, Avery, or Elias. Okay. Well, can I ask a question? Yes, right. absolutely. What is something that is like extremely passionate to you guys that you like definitely want to do before leaving this life? I thought it makes Travel. sense. Travel. Yeah. Travel. Travel? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say being like a blockbuster movie. Ooh, okay. Huh? Awesome. Is blockbuster still I want to direct a blockbuster movie. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> oh no, nah, bro. Hold on. Cause are you okay? Are you okay? 
Gene almost made you punch yourself. <laughs> yeah, I heard it too. Because it's just Blockbuster like Buster was closed. Nah, Block Blockbuster. There is one. There, there's one still open, but I forgot what state it is. It's one though. But nah, Blockbuster is just a uh, like a big time movie. Yeah, that's basically what it means. Oh, okay. but I hate it when somebody tells somebody they dream or they ambition, and then somebody else has to like one up it. Like, oh, I want to be a I want to be a chef. I want to be a master chef. It's like, like, bro, I'll, oh my gosh, man. That didn't help me at didn't all. Oh, my God. You got to think, think of another question or you got to. Um, okay, dang. How about this? I'll ask a question for you. Okay, that's uh, But great. I'll ask you first and then you can translate to them. Okay. Does religion or politics matter to you? Um, yeah, I'm not super keen on religion, so I th- would rather stay away from that. So I guess if you're religious, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, Are I, any of you, of you guys any? religious? No, not at all. A little bit. No, man. Well, my, Avery said a little bit. I'm, I'm Christian. Okay. Yeah. Then I would say like, red, I mean, that's awesome that you are, but like dating, not. So. So, so you're waving the yeah, red flag. I'm okay. The red flag on that. Okay. Yeah. And Avery, you're content with that. That's okay. Okay. It's, 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 and Caitlin. Hey, 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 we understand. Hey, hey, man. If y'all want to do y'all thing, do y'all thing, bro. I'm just trying to high five you, but oh, you did you did the back hand. My left hand was oh, I in got my you. pocket. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I, it's, uh. Bro, what's up? <laughs> hey, look. I'm not Gene, bro. If we go do this, then do this. No, cause you got your ring on. It's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh. Ready? You took it off. It's sacred. What's wrong with you? I'm about to get mad. <laughs> you it's, and you and homeboy on this couch about to just get beat. <laughs> Okay, All so right. wow, that was our. I'm glad yeah, I asked that nice. question. That uh, so one. now we have two. Do either of you have a question? No, no. What about the politics aspect? Politics? I honestly, I really like think for yourself. I don't really care about parties, okay. so it's really just whichever sounds the best. So yeah, whichever seems like the best way to vote. Is so. that okay with you two? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a political person, so, yeah. you know. Okay. I like to ask, because, you know, Grandma would say never talk about religion mm-hmm. and politics with people, so some people uh, hold that in great regard. Do you, have mm-hmm. a, do you have a question for them to narrow it down? You're looking at two handsome devils here. I, I don't have a question, yeah. Do either of you two have a question? Yeah, I got a question. Okay. What would you say is your biggest pet peeve about a man? Like, he's already your boyfriend. He's already, you guys are in a relationship. Okay. And this is the kind of thing that'll just turn you off right away. Pet peeve? Yeah. <sighs> like, um, he does this, and it shatters your world. Man. Aside from cheating and things like yeah. that. Aside from that. <laughs> I think, like, honestly, one that really just drives me nuts is just not asking questions or, like, just talking about themselves a lot. Okay. I think that's really one. Yeah, very self-centered. So you don't want a guy who doesn't ask questions, but then your host just asked you multiple times to ask questions and you keep saying you don't have a question. I don't know. Yeah. She probably means, like, yeah. ask questions like, how was your day? How you feeling? What's going on? Mm. Have you eaten today? Like, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah, questions and like concerns. I actually have a question. Yeah. About that. If you were to get matched today. Okay. How soon before the first date would take place? That's a great question. How soon before the first date would take place? Correct. Okay. I kind of like to warm up and get to know their personality, but I also love like to have connection in person i don't really like to do a lot of like texting or any of that i really like to connect one-on-one and you know Mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of times people text and i'm just kind of like let's let's go on a date let's see if the connection's there yeah so pretty pretty soon yeah is that good that's perfect. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at two, Caitlin, and right. it's looking like they're still <laughs> extra checking you out from this that's, one. Over. That's some good one. Cool. Checking you out. They're feeling awesome. you. Um, <laughs> I mean, we already matching with the shoes. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah, yeah. White, yeah. White, no. If you don't have a question for them, I can ask uh, that what okay. some have told me is a deal breaker question, but okay. um, do you have a question for them? I, I don't. What do we do um, from here? Are you marriage minded? Is marriage the end goal of dating for you? Yes, yes, but I'm open to that not being the idea. I grew up in the South, so that's kind of what has always been. In- I'm not religious, but I don't know about religion. I'm not political, but I sometimes get into politicals. I want to get married, but then I don't want to get married. Very, I want to have kids, but I she's don't want to. She's indecisive. She's very. She's yeah, a little, bro. She's a little indecisive. 
these te- these type of people are the most the problem with these type of mindsets is if you don't have set ways that you want to do things, you are the easiest person to pers- persuade to do something. And you're going to be easily manipulated because you don't stand on nothing. You're not 10 toes on anything. Everything is a maybe for you. Everything is a toss up for you. You're not hot. No, you're not cold. You are just in the middle. And I would say that it, it could be optimism, but it's you still have to have a stance with optimism. Like, I want children. That's that's a stance. Like, she could say, I want children. That's a stance. But, um, you know. She's 25, and I just tried my first cigarette last week. Why did you do that, though? Just, uh, like, it seems to be, you're, like, this is a very, it, it's easily peer pressure type of individual. Because everything is just so in the middle. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get Everything's that. in the middle. I can convince you to commit murder if I just say it interesting enough. You ever want to just get your hands bloody, dude? Like, just really bloody, dude? Like, I can, <laughs> you're just great. easily, you're easily convinced to, because you, you're just, a, you're an inflator too. You just flapping and, all and in the way. We don't talk about those. I want one. Yeah, I want one too, but we don't talk Dude, about Dude, we can like get mind. It's also like huge. So I'm kind of like new to like this open mindedness of LA. So marriage is on the mind, but also open to like that not being the 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 end goal as well. Don't so let LA stop that you one's from kind of married. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you guys okay with that? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I got a question. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, go to food. We just go-to left food. a date, or we just got a craving. Go to food. What am I getting you? I usually okay, so like meal wise, like Mexican's my go to and then snack That's all we have out here. I just remember she's in LA, so it's you know what, I can't even be mad because it's not like you have freaking options. Well they got they got a lot more options than we do, but still like that that's the go to for everybody. Bro, can we can we safely say that California is ninety percent Hispanic food? Yes. All right. Yes. Snack. It's gonna be weird. The kids are going to, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. You're like, you know what's coming. <laughs> you know that's what's good coming. to know. What about right. what about what what about Cuban? Cuban. Cuban. I'm Cuban. Too. You know. <laughs> okay. I don't care. And you know what? Like, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with Mexican food, but to me, okay, how I look at it is, Mexican food for me is like spaghetti. Yes. You eat it all, all the, time. the time. Every, Every Sunday. Every single time. You're going to have spaghetti because it's going to stretch you from Sunday to Tuesday. And it's spaghetti without the without the giant meatballs paws. It's just it's just it's spaghetti sauce yeah. on noodles, bro. And it's just like, there's so many people like, oh, I love it. It's because y'all not eating the authentic. Bro, if I haven't eaten authentic Mexican food yet in my life after all these Hispanic joints I went to, I just have a theory that authentic Mexican food is a myth. But then but then there's a difference between like authentic Mexican food and like Mexican American food cuz some places like how they be doing like the carne asada with sour cream like authentic uh Mexican food doesn't have all those extras on it. It's just, you know, simple. So so, so then technically I've been eating authentic cuz I don't add some of that so <laughs> So am I right? Because technically, right? If it don't have it all on there, when's the last time you saw me? Like add? they don't put like crazy amounts of cheese on everything. So like, they put different types of cheese. So you're describing how I eat Mexican food then? Because I I, I eat it to the basics. I guess. Bro. So I I guess I be eating Mexican authentic nah, my whole life. I don't use no sour cream pico de gallo. Anything that's like a chain franchise, I don't think it's authentic. Bro, then then nothing's authentic. They got portos. They don't count. You got portos. All right? <laughs> Albertos, Albert Tacos, Albiertos, the Franchises. Albert Brothers. Franchises. <laughs> Franchises. Portos, and they all Portos taste is the same. really good. I'm just going to put that on the record. Shout out to Portos. Taco truck. Okay. okay. So you're okay, looking taco at. Taco trucks are fire. They're checking off your box. You got one done this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Both yeah, of them are great. Like, cool. Taco trucks are fire. I would hate to, I would hate to have uh, to, but I think we're going to have to because this okay. is not a, like a bigamy show. Uh, you know, you got to choose one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless I, you have one essential I, question. I do not. I, I, you have an essential question? Will you marry me? <laughs> Ooh, that's well, crazy uh, work. I don't know about that joke yet. Maybe five more minutes. Maybe some uh, time. <laughs> you got to win the nice. next one. Based okay. off... I he tried to use the old, old dude's uh, technique. Based off appearance, based off something they've said. Okay. You got to make a decision because I... Okay. Seems like there's, there's All right. Thing. Okay. Well, if I have to make a decision now, you I do. will say that my love language is 
uh, compliments, you know, words of affirmation, mm. and you've been speaking my love language. So I'm gonna have to give it to you today. But you are, you had your your passion. I love movies, and if you ever direct a movie, and you need an actor, definitely hit me up. Of course. <laughs> so yeah, Shoot I this think plug. this is right here. All yeah. right. Well, um, good I want game. Good GGs. GGs. Come on over to me. <laughs> GGs, guys. I want Elias to come on over. Uh, come on, come on this side for me, Elias. <laughs> well, then. I can only ask about three more questions. Here's the first question. Do you have any more questions? What would be your ideal first date? Ooh, I probably trying like a new like mom and pop shop and just like, you know, talking and trying new food. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's good. Good. Yeah, oh my God, yes. Film is my favorite, for sure. Wow. <laughs> Seems like he's good. Uh, Caitlin, any more questions for him? Or? When's the date? What the <laughs> Oh. Okay, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. well, let me then take this out because my final question is, uh, do both of you feel this could be a real one relationship? Yeah. yeah. Can you clap it up? Because we've got two real ones that <laughs> did the do and do what they have to do. Okay, well, I will take this mic. I will take this red flag. And you can head out that way uh, with... Your, uh, with your real one, with your real one. Head on out, folks. Head on out with their real one. Wow, see, he can make those jokes. I can't. Uh no, you cannot, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Dang host. Uh, awesome, Acting awesome. Up. Thank you both so much. You made the real one joke. You made the fried chicken joke. The deportation joke. The, the deportation joke. joke. <laughs> wow, that is, that is exciting. Okay. All right, here's a mic. Why don't you tell us your name? Yes your age, and what you do. Yes, my name is Jasmine Denise. I am 26, and I work in PR, as well as I sing, I model, and of course, act. All right. Love it. Now let's do this. Tell us three of your deal breakers when it comes to a relationship. Number one is you have to be motivated. If you're not motivated and goal-oriented, I can't talk to you. Um, you have to be fun. I don't like to sit in the house. You don't want a girl that gets bored because, you know. Um, and two, or three, I should say, no kids. I can't do the kids. Wait, question. No kids as in no previous kids or you don't want kids? No previous kids with my partner. Me personally, I just feel like I'm too young. I'm too in a space where I want to travel and achieve my goals and see the world where kids aren't a top priority for me. But if you have a child... But that's okay. I can work with that. But you want kids in the future. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just you, saying, like, it's not a priority. Right. But, but do like, you if want, it does happen, it happens. But okay. it needs to happen with, like, a husband and, right. like, someone you're settled with. Okay. But you do want children in the future? Yes or no? Or maybe? Or is it? Maybe. It depends. Okay. The right person has to come into your life to want to have the kid, I feel like. In my case. Got it. All right. Is that okay for now? Okay. Let me ask my next question. What makes you a <laughs> real one? What makes you a catch? Ooh. Maybe two to three things because okay. it seems like it might be a lot. But. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot. First, I think I just think I'm a vibe. I love to have a good time. I love to uh, enjoy the people that I'm around, catch a good vibe, see the world, all of that. Um, and two, I'm always supportive. I'm always motivating, um, whether it's a friend or a partnership or whatever it is. Like, what is the goal? How are we going to achieve it? And let me be your accountability partner because I need it. And I'm trying to get somewhere in life, and I want my partner to do the same. Okay. Do we have a question? I, I wish one day when people ask this, like, what makes you a catch? I wish people would start saying things that are like not generic responses. You get me? Like, say something like, oh, I'm financially responsible. Um, shoot, like, I know how to do this. I'm also talented in this. Um, whenever I have a partner, I'm able to do this. You know, like, I feel like everybody's a vibe. Everybody's a... Oh, so you mean making it more personable. Yeah, because you know it's like... Saying? Something that only, like, something that only you specifically as a person can do. Or, or at least you're good at. You get what I'm saying? Like, what are you good at? Because everybody's a vibe. But everybody can be good at a lot of things also. So Yeah, but what makes what makes you a catch though? Right. So I'm saying I'm saying make it more personable, like, you know, what makes you a, as an individual a catch versus Like what know, makes you stand out. Yeah, compared yeah, to because everyone else. Cause being supportive, that's Everybody can do it, but they choose not to. 
Yeah, it's not really like a, a, a catch thing. Like, it's like, okay, being supportive is definitely a default thing. If you're not, whole point of dating is you're supporting somebody else. If you, I get it. It it it's supposed to be a default thing. If it's not, then do you, do you it, feel free? I don't think it is. No. I I just feel like I've I've heard that answer. I've heard that same copy paste answer. People say because it, it sounds good, and uh, yeah, nine times out of ten, they're they're typically not that. Not saying that she's not, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like it, it, you don't stand out with that. Okay, it's like whatever. Uh, yeah, you have got no red flags, which is remarkable, um, because uh, you're checking off some boxes here. So what I'm gonna do, just based off of what you jazz want her because she black, what you might have heard, I want you to eliminate one. I want you to eliminate one of these four, just based off what you've seen, based off what you heard, just one. That's just like hard because I haven't really like. You can ask a question. Okay. You can ask okay. a deal breaking okay. question. Can I ask one question? Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all adults. We all grown and we all can be reflect on our own selves. Mm -hmm. So when you look at your past relationships or situationships, what has been your toxic trait or the thing that you have done that kind of slipped through the cracks? Let's start with cheeks. I think the the main one that points out in my heart is. I guess enjoying my time alone. Yeah. I think uh, when I need space, I need it. And yeah. sometimes, you know, that doesn't really uh, mince well in right. a relationship. Understandable. Jean? Well, uh, I'm kind of new to the relationship stuff. So, you know, I'm always willing to learn, you know. Okay. Cool. So I don't really have any bad traits in that okay. regard. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Avery? I would say... Um, Communication. Okay. Um, I know that's a big one, but uh, in my last relationship, there was like this instance, and I broke up with her. But I think if I had talked to her a little more beforehand, then it would have fixed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It happens. Jazz. My probably most toxic trait is waiting it out and before it fall and trying to like work it out all the way through until it. Sometimes when you get enough red flags, you should just bounce That's, before it gets too early. This time to go, early. it's time to go. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Okay. So based off those, unless you have another question, did you like those responses, or These do you think do you think you have one that is going to get a red flag? I do. Okay. I feel so bad for it, but it's going to have to be you. I knew it. Yeah, it's all good. Because, it's all good. Just because you're new to the relationship game, and I can be a little bit much to handle. So. <laughs> oh, she's a lot. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, you and, love a lot of women, okay. dog. I respect uh, that. Thank yeah, you. Okay. Right. All right. Well, that's very clear. So now you have three. Okay. You've got three. Do you have another question that could narrow it down? One that you're just curious about? What you right. thinking? Three, so brother. my next question. If you are LA. talking to someone and you're engaging in someone, what ways do you show them that you're interested? Let's start with Jazz this time. Oh, man. So I'm talking to a girl like you. How do I show them that I'm interested? I personally, since I've never been with someone like you, I wouldn't know how to approach, so I would just start talking to you and be inquisitive. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go to Avery. I would probably give you lots of compliments, um, make eye contact, be very genuine. Um, I would ask you about... <laughs> Are you sweating? No. A lot, oh, oh, oh. A lot. That was a little. Uh, okay. I'd ask you like what you're passionate about, <laughs> what your goals are, and what you're doing to work towards it. Go. Cool. Cheeks. I feel like because my time is so important to me, um, if I'm interested in you, I try to see you in person. You know, I try to um, make that face to face, that energy connection, and um, on top of that, just really try to have long, deep conversation that really you know get to the uncomfortable parts. Dang. Okay. Dang. Let me ask this before we start to narrow it down some more. Okay. Is age a deal breaker for you? Depending on too young, too old? It's a recent deal breaker. For mm. So for safety, let's do the ages of our three that are, wait, yeah, our three that are still alive. Jazz, your age. 29. Okay. 20. No, 25. <laughs> Tell us, Jasmine, why the, why the reaction in that manner? Just because I feel like men that are under the age of 30 don't really know what they want. They're mm. all over the place. They don't really know how to date you. Mm. So. 
So and are I only have, I've like only dated above thirty. Hmm. Oh. Now is that since they're I all under the age of thirty? Would that are you just gonna do a blanket red no. flag? Or are you willing to? I'm willing. I'm willing to. Uh, okay. Willing to have some flexibility because what I have learned is like when you get the older guys, mm -hmm. they're not trying to be in the clubs with you. And like sometimes you want your man to like be in the section with you so you can like throw it back just like a little bit, you know? Just a little. You know, like, just a little. So you still want them like to be fun and young and like to go out and kick it. Because I like to. Do okay. That. So based off the responses 29, 20, 25, uh, cheeks really quick, let me just see if. Do you have one that you want to eliminate? It's a wave the red flag on 20. I'm so sorry. Oh, You're so handsome, but I can't do it. I can't. What happened? I was just laughing at a thought I had. Because oh. I was just like, she's, she's like 30 year olds. They typically, like people in their 30s are up, typically they don't want to go to the club. If she just, she just want to have somebody there where she go to the section, throw it back. And like, Go put some lights up on the balcony and play <laughs> some music and do that. You got a section in your balcony. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Thank you. You're very pretty. Say, you. Go no, throw it back okay. in your kitchen, I wish we had time. Bro. Say he's mature. <laughs> say he's just mind-blowing. But you, yeah, I, that, that, yeah, now that I'm hearing, now that I'm hearing it, that, that is weird. Like, is, like you want to throw it back? Is it because you want people to see you throwing it back on them? I'm, or not, about to spend, I'm not about to spend money to go to the club. Just, just to, just to twerk. <laughs> you can do that at home. I could goof around and put it in freaking play games and stuff like that and chill at the house. But, but you it's know, still that's just in your heart, just not. So. He's not gonna be able to go to the bars with me. Mm, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, okay, okay. When do you turn twenty-one, Avery? September. Okay, and that's probably you got to get a drink in before. Yeah, it's about to. Oh, okay. Summer. Okay, okay. summer's okay. Okay. All right. So we've got we've got two cheeks. It looked like you had a question. Yeah. Um, you got two cheeks. For you, you know, you mentioned the the club <laughs> thing and the okay. section and stuff like that. Um, are you interested in the club specifically, or is it more just a place where you can, you know, good music, good vibes, good people kind of thing? I'm definitely more so good music, good vibes, good people. Granted, the clubs, I am i haven't really been in the clubs, but I have as of the last, since Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and so it's like a new scene for me. I'm yeah. just peeping it. And I mean, I do feel like some of it's a waste of your time because I'm like folks who's really just sitting around mm -hmm. looking at each other. But essentially, I like to go out, have a good time, hear good music. Um, and just be around like good energy and good people and especially like people that actually like to dance and have fun versus I just want to sit there and like look cool. You're going to hate the clubs. Oh, yeah. 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 You hate clubs with passion. So yeah. would is that a red flag for you or you think that it could balance? No, I mean, she's I think it's a balance. Okay. I think that, okay. you know, what she's looking for isn't really found in too many clubs. Got yeah. it. OK. Yeah. And jazz. OK, with you, that response that I'm, I don't have any issues with clubs. OK. okay. Okay. Do you have another question, Jasmine? It's seeming like it's seeming like something could pop off, or I don't know. What are you thinking? Okay. So the only reason. Okay. So remind me of your name. Cheeks. Cheeks. Yes. I'm feeling cheeks. Mm. I'm feeling cheeks. Mm. The only reason why jazz is not working is because my name is Jazz <sighs> and Jasmine, so we can't have two Jazzes. Mm. What's your middle name, Jazz? We don't. That doesn't matter. Because then. Yeah. If <laughs> Mm. All right. All right. All right. It's probably Allen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why I was thinking that same thing, bro. Oh, me, I was. It's probably Allen. Oh, me, I was. Wait, bro. but you stick at Allen with two L's? Yeah. A double L. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this is like Jazz Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we're out. Because his name is probably not even Jazz. His pra his name is probably like, like a, a Josh or like a. Because. Uh, yeah, because my cousin. My cousin Jay. Well, he plays the saxophone, so. Yeah, so, yeah, his name is not actually Jazz. It's like Jazz, 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 jazz and I turn. It's yeah. like, you know? I know. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's not hurting my feelings. See, so are you throwing, are you putting up a red flag over it's the name? Not even like it's like a bad reason to have a red yeah, flag. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's up to you. It's, it's up to, wait, wait, let me, let me. So, yeah. you, are you going to let it marinate? Are you going to consider? Gonna okay, okay, let's let it marinate. Let's let it marinate. Let's, let's marinate. Okay. Something. Bad reason to like throw a red flag because you could also really be a super sweet, super genuine, great guy. Okay. And I'd be really bad, messed up to like. Is she right about that assumption? Super sweet, super genuine? Yes. <laughs> okay. Cheeks, what was your question? <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was a long <laughs> way to say was, yes. Yeah. I was like, all right. Like, yeah, sure? right, We're right. Tight, okay, but Cheeks? Um, do you like to read it all? 
I like the idea of reading. Okay. Um, I used to read all the time growing up. That was like my thing. And then it was just one of the things that fell to the side when I wanted to do singing and piano and dance and yeah. all of the different things. And then I also just feel like as an adult and like working and trying to do this entertainment thing, it can be hard to find that like solo time to read. But I do need to read more. That's mm-hmm. definitely been Even on the um, five minutes. goals for the past year. Jazz, it looks like you have a question. So um, on, a, a, on a professional side of things, so I'm a musician and I can tell that you, you do choreography. So if I were to give you a song of mine and I wanted you to dance to it, and I had a fund that I wanted to pay you for. I could definitely get your contact information just on that sole principle okay. alone before you leave. I mean, we can definitely because we're networking. We can network. Please, but please. I'm not a dancer. I'm not a You're dancer. Not a dancer? No, mm. I'm not a dancer. I'm a singer mm. that I can that can like groove. So, mm. I like to take I'll dance take, classes. I, I, I'll low key take that. I'm not even going to yeah. hold you. I'm not a dancer, dancer, mm, okay. but I can. Yeah, go. she's like the okay. Michelle of the group. A little one, two. Yeah. Little, yeah. You know, two step. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it looks like we got two. You said, I said, you don't get my reference. It's okay. Dear. You said Michelle of the group? She's the Michelle of the group because Destiny, Destiny. Yeah, that's Child. what I was, I was about to say. Oh, you knew? Yeah, I know who, I know who Destiny Child is. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was about to say, but then it was like. I felt like we were already moving on, but yeah, I know who Destiny. Oh Johnny no, I didn't said. know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Because the first thing, the only thing I thought of was Beyonce when she said Michelle. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll be knowing that dudes listen to Destiny Child and stuff. So that's why I'm I an only. I'm an only male. <laughs> I, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You never know. <laughs> yeah. We want to start to narrow it down. Okay. Um, a question I've been asking, which I do like, because it kind of helped in the last. Uh, last experience religion or politics are those essential to you should they be of a certain political faction a certain religious group does that matter to you um i think if you're voting for trump i can't we can't date i don't i don't i'm not too into politics i'm not too into politics and i like don't know the sides or republicans democrats because i think it's all like a bunch of mess really if we're being honest so but i'm like not picking the trump side so are either of you comfortable saying that? I will not Sorry. dox you. I will this not cancel is, you. This is my personal reservation is because I am politically unaware and ignorant as well. So I usually lean on my significant other to vote. Mm-hmm. I vote accordingly, if you get me. So if okay. you don't have that knowledge for me, I won't be able to. I'll just be blind. I might just mm. vote with my mom or something. But like, don't you want to have that like knowledge for yourself? Yes. I am not curious, nor I, I stay in my lane, and I do what I do best. <laughs> yes. Okay. What about you, Chief? I don't, I don't blame him, bro, because I don't pay attention. You know me. I, politics, I, I just don't care. It's just because I already understand that it's it doesn't matter what I think. Politics is not in any way going to assist me or help me because the things that we have in order in front of us, both sides are telling you that the other side is bad, but they're they're all trying to hurt you in the end. I can understand why people shut down from politics or they particularly don't like connect with it because um, it's just full of like deceit it's and manipulation cult. and all that kind of stuff. I get that. Um, but I do think people should be somewhat informed, like at least pay attention a little bit to like some of the, like the basics of what's happening, what's going on. Not saying you got to be like into it all day, every day, but still keep yourself informed just well enough so you have kind of an idea of what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like right now with our current presidential thing, everything I hear about Trump, I'm like, okay. Everything I hear about Kamala, I'm like, okay. And then people go, so yeah, you're voting for Kamala, right? No. So you're voting for Trump, right? No. But why? It's because they both just sound horrible to me. Yeah, we... Yeah, they 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 both they both are just horrible to me. I I typically only like center I'm myself. I'm a local. I can I like typically like center my attention around like the state that I'm residing in because yeah. that's what affects me the most. Yeah. So um, I understand the presidential politics and all that is important, but it's like my homie put it the he put it the best way that I feel about it. He's like. It's all throw up. It's either gonna be brown throw up or it's gonna be green throw up. But at the end of the day. It's still throw up. Just and pick your pick you your. You can still. I mean, people can still vote third party if they write it on the ballots. Yeah, but you know, it has to be a good number 
Yeah, unfortunate. Of that third party to even, you know. Yeah. It's religion, politics. Well, well, we didn't get to religion yet. Let's stick with politics. Politics, does that matter to you? Yeah, I mean, pretty much where she was saying where she's is, at? is Trump till it's February 30th. Okay. <laughs> Let's go religion. Does religion matter? Um, If I'm introducing you to my mother, mm-hmm. yes. Because I grew up in a Christian household. I am identify as Christian, but I don't practice. I believe in the Lord upstairs. Thank you for waking me up. But it's not something that it's like... I can't do. Uh, like it has to be. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if I take it to my mom and like she's gonna have something to say if you're not Christian, but my mom was always gonna have something to say. So that's how black mm-hmm. mamas okay, are. So as as your mom is black. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, making sure you weren't mixed. So Jazz, is that okay for you? I'm a firm believer. So I have strong faith in God. I don't want any doubt in your mind to not have faith in God. Okay. So do you have like not any religious perspects prospects or like do you believe oh absolutely absolutely i think you probably missed the part where i said i thank the lord for waking me up i think oh, that's okay that's i yeah just I, i'm a type of person where i feel like i don't have to go to four walls and i don't have to ever tell everyone else about my relationship with god to have a relationship with god i feel like it's me and him connecting i love talking. that your relationship with god is personal yeah, yeah it should be so your relationship over religion one more time relationship over religion oh yeah felt yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Can't Cheeks, does her response religion. resonate with you? Very much. Okay. I mean, I'm a double pastor's kid, and so I, Ooh. yeah, exactly. Nice. Type <laughs> sh- yeah. Nice. Um, and so, you know, yeah. My, my. And that, <laughs> and that's why, that's why some of it, it be, it be, it's, it's contradictory, right? What does the Bible say? That you can't have light mixed with dark, right? Mm-hmm. And so, a lot of these people that push this whole, like, it's all about the interpersonal relationship. We don't need the religion. We don't need the practices. We don't need the customs. But then y'all do things contradictory, right? Oh, I have a deep personal connection with God. But you sleep around. But you also use profane language. But you also drink when the, you get drunk when you know you're not supposed to get drunk. You do things. And so... How is the relationship personal if you're doing things that actively offend him all the time? You know, you know what I always think of when people say, like, I have a deep like connection with God. You could have a deep connection with him, but does he have one with you? Mm, does he okay. have one with you? Okay, does he cause because that's like claiming somebody like, Oh, I'm with this person, I they love me, this blah blah blah, but they're not claiming you. Right. And the thing is, that's what they say. They say in the last when we get judged, they're gonna be a lot of people like did I do this in your name? Did I do this in your name? I loved you. I did this. And what did what did they what did the Bible say that Jesus was gonna say to them? Depart from me. Depart from me. I never knew you. Yep. You feel me? So that's why I, I feel like it's important. My whole life, I spent time in church and stuff like that. But it, I feel like when you get to know a lot of church people, you don't really find a lot of God in them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, All that's right, the well, people. That's not God. Tough yeah. decision there's, kinda there's, for you coming up. Because we gotta right. narrow it down. It feels like there's some vibe going yeah, on here. There's there's, there's a vibe, uh, as Ty Dolla Sign would say. So you have to make a decision yeah. to some degree. <laughs> yeah. Uh do you have a final deal breaking question that you wanna ask, or do you already know who you wanna throw a red flag I'm on? I'm gonna just I think I know. Okay. Sorry, Jazz. I think we're gonna go with Cheeks. Oh, and tell us why, Jazz. This jazz, not that jazz. Tell us why, Jazz. I feel like Cheeks. I feel like he's a good talker and I feel like we can sit and have a good conversation and it's going to be an intellectual conversation and it's going to be a conversation where I feel like I'm fulfilled mm. and not just like I have someone just talking in my ear. Mm. Words now, of cheeks. Affirmation. Oh, no, my bad. What do you think? Are you, do you have a question for Jazz before we, I have you come up here? I want to know where he got this wig I have a lot from. of questions, but I feel like that's that's for me and her oh, to talk about. Ooh. Wow, he's kicking me to the curb. All right, well, you can... Hold on. I got to gotta investigate. Is that his natural hair? I don't he... think it is, but I, I still... I, I, I see still want the... Based... Uh... Oh, he got a blonde He got a too? part two? Yeah, I'm going to need one of those. <laughs> Put on a suit. So the, 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 the wig is just his, his catch thing. Yeah. Like, Hey, he dropped. He dropped episode two. Oh, and he dropped. He dropped episode two. So you know, we'll, we'll, if you guys like this one, we'll watch the next one. Put your mic down, then. Sure. Yes, we out of here. And uh, I'll ask three questions when you stand next to me. My first question is for Jazz. Jazz, do you have a final question for Cheeks? 
Okay, Cheeks. First date, where are we taking me? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm very big into conversations and things like that. So it would be somewhere where, you know, we could sit, we could talk, where we could eat for sure. So specifically, I think I think a nice like mom and pop shop, you know, with a nice atmosphere kind okay. of thing is is nice for me. I love that. I mean, he got me with the foods. So. That answer works for you. And then, Jeez, no you have one more question no for Jeff. Because that's where everybody want to go. No, dude. If not, it's okay. Like you said, if you shut me up and you want me out of here, you know. I always want to shut you up. You said, mind your business, mind your business. Okay, so you're good. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, then my final question is, do we feel this is a real one connection relationship? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Then I'm going to have to take out this green flag. And can we clap it up because we got two real ones that are here together. So I'm going to take this mic. And, And by the way, this is the guy that said, where are the sisters? This is the guy. He wanted some melanin. He wanted some melanin. It probably came from this direction. So. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you two to walk on out that way. Oh, they hold hands. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, a real one found a real one. Uh, and that's how we do it. And that's how we do it. Okay. All right. Gene don't know what he's doing. He, he don't know no better. Hello. Hey. Hello. Why don't you tell them your name, your age, and what you do? Hi, I'm Dominica. I'm 31, and I'm a sales manager for a wellness company. Dominic. Dominica. <laughs> Dominique. Dominica. She grew up in a hood. Nick. In the hood. She grew up in a block. <laughs> Very okay. cool. And Dominica, how about you tell us three? <laughs> she grew up in a in a ghetto. In the cut. In the hood. <laughs> My intrusive thoughts. What was your intrusive thought? Let's hear it. I can mute. Mute. Alright. <laughs> Deal breakers when it comes to relationships. Okay, number one, if you follow girls on Instagram that you don't know in real life, um, number two would be a <laughs> lack of communication, and then three what would be the if you have an issue with me hanging out with my friends without you there. What if we don't even have Instagram? Then that's e- that's like the greenest flag ever. All right. <laughs> well, what I want to ask next then is, Dominica, what makes you a real one? What makes you a catch? Ooh. Um, so I feel like so I'm a salesperson, so I could kind of be a chameleon, you know, like if you want someone that's like more of like a sidekick, like feminine, like by your side, traditional woman, I can do that. But if you want someone that's like, you know, power couple vibes, I can do that too. It just kind of depends on the man I'm with to like bring that out of me. All right. It looks like these. No, you know what? Three- that's, that's a, I think that's a good I've never heard that before. I'll be whatever type of woman you need me to be. So the chameleon thing got me. The chameleon? Yeah, Is because that... chameleons change color. Yeah. So she can yeah, be different yeah, things. That, I, that's a good answer. I feel like because it's a good answer because homeboy, you got y'all can't see me playing. But homeboy right, oh homeboy right here. <laughs> I, I got two monitors, y'all. Homeboy right here, he he said. I need a chick that can do like, I, cause he's socially awkward. You feel me? So it's like, and then Jay, he, I don't know what he need, but you feel me? I think that's a good, that's a cool way to put it. Like if my man can't be outspoken, I'll be the outspoken one. But if my man is outspoken, I have no problem playing background character. You get me? That's a good little thing, right? Okay, that's fine. Cause I didn't even look at it in that way. Oh, how'd you see it? As soon as she said chameleon, it kind of like threw me like you thought set hopper. No, nah, nah. It's it it threw me off kind of in a way because it could be a good thing where you can adapt quickly, but it it can also be a thing where you're change. You can easily change who you are and based be, off and of, be faking it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's valid. That's yeah, valid. That's so. valid. Three gentlemen are intrigued by the wonderful <laughs> Dominica. Um, do you have a question for them, Dominica? Um. Yes. My first question is, how old are you guys? Great question. Let's start with Gene. So I am uh. The wonderful age of 29. Okay. Whoa. 20. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 29. Okay. Awesome. So we got two 29-year-olds, 20. Dominica, your thoughts? 
Uh, 20 is way too young. You are really cute, though. If you weren't 20, then I would have been like, oh, yeah, let's keep talking. Yeah. It's so that's going to be a red flag for you. <laughs> yeah. Wave that for me, just just for the aesthetic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so you Avery's sick. a little too young. Why is that age kind of a deal breaker for you, uh, a little too young? So it's not actually the age gap, but for me, it's kind of like where we're at in life. Like, I'm assuming you're either in college or just finishing college, and I'm pretty, like, far into my career. No, I'm actually, I already have like a job and everything, but. Oh, what do you do for work? I'm a personal trainer. Okay. I used to own a gym for five years. Nice. So you have that in common too. Um, yeah, but it's, I don't know, like I'm at a point where, you know, like marriage and kids is kind of on the horizon and I just assume that at 20 you're kind of just. Yeah, not even close. Yeah. 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 So mm. that's the biggest reason. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to throw it to you guys really quick. So since we only have two surviving brothers, do you have a question? For Dominique. So you said marriage and kids are, are on the horizon. Uh, what is the, the estimated time frame? For uh, you see what I'm saying? Because when a uh, uh, old lawyer girl came out and she said marriage and kids, homeboy ain't say nothing. Right? He, he been trolling. That's what I'm saying. He been so trolling. If, it, if, it, if it's a Becky, he cool. But if it's any other thing, you know, all of a sudden he not... He not jacking the kid thing and all that. Because uh, I'm peeping on. I'm already locked in on you, Star Wars boy. I'm not worried about Gene. Yeah. I'm not worried about him. I'm already Where locked that? in on Honestly, him. Honestly, if I Matter fact, like in those you frotting, brother. <laughs> because I, I peep game on that. As soon as that other chick, what's her name? Uh, Taylor. No, not one Taylor. What's, where's she at? Yeah, as soon as she came out. He ain't asked none of that. And she said, oh, I want kids. I want this. But every other chick, the, the Asian lady, oh, I can't do kids. I don't want kids. The black lady, oh, the marriage thing and all that. Like, bro, I'm peeping game on you, bro. More movies where we fall in love in like six months. That would be great. But two years max because I, you know, I am 31. It'd be nice to like get married and like have a kid. Um, and my, I'm the second oldest of my cousins and none of us are married or engaged yet. Dang. So it's kind of cool to like be the, the, the grandkid that has the first baby, you know, first great grandkids for my grandma. Red flag. I'm sorry. I just, Jean, the, kids, tell us the, kids, why. the kids, the kids, the children, <laughs> no, the children. Totally respect it. Wow. So it's just jazz. <laughs> jazz. Undefeated. Uh, tell us what you're thinking right now. She's beautiful. I'm so curious what your height is. Without the heels, are you like five one? I am 4, actually 11? four eleven. I was I was I was about to hear that four eleven. <laughs> so uh, she she's beautiful. She's thick. It, she's a little short for my tastes. Um, I could talk a little more. I feel like I want to go back and forth a little bit before I. I do want a little. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't do it this way. Give me something else. Do you have something? A question that's really important. Oh, ask a question. Yeah. Um, Unless, Dom, of course, Dominique, I'm sure she has a question, but you can ask first, maybe. Yeah, you can go ahead. Dang, I don't really have questions for her. Hold up. Hey, Dominique, do you, you have a question that? for Jazz? Um, what would eyes. you say is your biggest red flag? Wanting to be married and not knowing your ring size is a pretty good red flag. <laughs> but <laughs> um, there, I have better red flags than that. I just don't really pay attention to them. Let me think. What? Not wanting to hold my hand when it gets sweaty. That's definitely a red flag. Okay. No, for if you, you can't as a person. cuddle with me when it gets hot, that's a red flag. Would you like blast the AC though? Or would you just be yes, like, Yes, I will blast, we'll blast the AC. <laughs> okay. We can blast the AC. Oh, you're like, look, look, you're working with me. I like that. I mean, cause I run hot. So even, Ooh. even when it's cold, like I'll turn on the fan for a little breeze and uh -huh. I'll just be under the blanket. But like, I still need the room to be cold. Uh -huh. hey, I relate to you. I relate to you, fam. I gotta, I, I gotta have a fan on. I gotta have everything. It don't matter. It, it'd be like fifty degrees. I still need that fan on. But I'm a big dude though, so that's it's I big. Need, I need blanket. Blankets protect me. Yeah, she steals my warmth. She don't ever let me stay warm. I like to create like a little a burrow, <laughs> and I'll generate so much heat in that burrow, I can notice when the burrow gets broken, right? And she'll do it subtly. She'll like sneak a foot in there. And she'll break the barrier, and I'll feel all this heat just leave. And then she'll close it back like she ain't doing what she just did. <laughs> she be still there. Okay. Shoot. I, I mean, I don't really have any complaints. 
<laughs> okay. Dominica, do you have a question for Jazz as we start to narrow it down? Because uh, there could be some kind of connection here. Oh, uh, what do you do for work? Okay. Do I, should I break down everything? Again? Just give me, give, give her the main one. Um, what brings me the most money is um, entertainment industry affiliations. I'm okay. involved. How do you feel about flowers on a first date? I'm, we can do a lot on the first date. Hmm. We can do a lot on the first date. Like That's honestly the best, biggest first impression. That's usually I ch stack up my money and go crazy. But I'm going to keep it a whole stack. If we don't really get anywhere intimate, you know, I like kissing and all that stuff, you, you might lose my interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to wave the red flag. Uh-oh, let me get that out yeah, for you. Yeah, wow, we're going to um, wave the red flag. Tell yeah. me why, Dominica. So I actually have no issues getting intimate on a first date if I'm into you, but the expectation being there or kind of being like, if we don't, it's not going to go further, that's just... I said might, but yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, to me, first yeah, dates are like to get to know each other and, you know, have fun, see if there's a connection there, and then if we progress, then, of course, like... Uh, it should be someone that I want to get intimate with, but again, like that thing where like, oh, if it doesn't progress, I might just not be interested. It's just, I can't do that. Yeah. But I, I respect it. Thank yeah, you. that goes back to what I was saying. Homeboy, he, Jazz, honestly feel like he's the type of person, like, he got a smash on the first date. Like. Mm, yeah, Jazz, um, he comes off like, uh, as kind of like very self-centered. And you need to like cater to him, and like he needs a lot of attention, like yeah. a plant. Yeah. And it's and yeah. the second he don't feel like he getting any attention, he goes and he looks for a new source of attention. Yeah, that's not. Good. Wow. All right. Well, it looks like I'm sorry we weren't able to get you a real one, no, Dominica, okay. and I'm so sorry because you are amazing, and I think all the guys were were feeling it. Can we clap it up for Dominica right. still? Clap it up. Uh, yeah, uh, we sure do appreciate you for coming out. Maybe next time we can get you a real one. Yes, Maybe good. next time. Uh, one more time, folks. Clap it up for Dominica. Dominica, you can head back out that way. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll make it happen next time, folks. Oh, hello. Step on that red X for me. Thank you. Oh, so very much. I'm going to get you a Bye. Hello. Why don't you tell us your name? Cheeks. Is Cheeks back as the cameraman? Ain't yes. you supposed to be on a date, brother? Mm -hmm. That's, that's a real age one. Though. And what you do? Yeah. Hi, Helping I'm out. Charlotte. I'm 21 and I do I'm music comf. and acting. I'm a singer songwriter. Which is awesome. Uh, I like your style. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, no red flags yet, which is great because some throw a red flag immediately. Tell me, what are your three deal breakers, or at least three, when it comes to a relationship? Give me three deal breakers. Like something that someone else does? Mm -hmm. okay. That doesn't work well, for you. Cheating for one, obviously. Um, I don't know. Doesn't like to watch movies with me and doesn't like to do dumb shit with me. What kind of dumb bleep are you referring to? Okay. Just like... I don't know, stupid stuff. It doesn't matter, like toilet paper, someone's house, or like. Oh, you're, you're, a, you're a degenerate. Oh, you're, a, you're a child. Okay. Nah, you're a thug. You're oh, a good. child. Oh, and who's on know, your TPM? We still do that, bro. You know how expensive you know toilet paper is? Us? Bro, you throw some toilet paper across my house, I'm going to roll that mugger. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it up and put it right back in the house, bro. You shoot, shoot. Throw four dollars at my house for free. Go <laughs> laser funny. tag. I don't know. Uh, laser tag is cool. Yes, yeah, I want to try tag. that. Okay, I like that. Okay, now another question I have for you. No red flag still. What makes you a catch? What makes you a real one, Charlotte? Um, I'm loyal to a fault. I'm funny. I'm cool. I'm sexy. I'm hot. I'm fun. Oh, I'm nice. I'm. Do we really gotta, let's just skip this part, cause. <laughs> Would you say that one of your love languages is words of affirmation? For sure, Okay. Yes. That's my okay. weakest love language, I'm out. I'm out. Bye. I'm out. Talk about it though, you Jazz. Why is it, that you one of your weakest it. words That's of affirmation? That's crazy. I feel like I'm better at gifting, physical touch, acts of service. What kind of gifts are we talking? The roses, the chocolates, the vacations. Cars. That's crazy. Uh, I ain't saying she, but she ain't dealing with no. She give me money when I'm in need. <laughs> it's too easy, huh? It's too easy, huh? Uh, uh. Our kids can't date. <laughs> 
cars. Yeah, but you have to be driving me around because I don't drive. We can definitely buy you a car. We can do the... But, I mean... Okay, well, if the gifts are like that, I don't think I need the words of affirmation. Oh! I ain't saying she a gold digger. But you're a 21-year-old asking for cars. Girl, y'all insurance premiums is tripled. Okay. <laughs> So do you want to retract your red flag, or are you still red flagging it? No, he, you, 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 you made your move. He's out. You made your yeah, yeah. Okay, I want, I okay. I want to stand on what I do. Okay, I respect that. Yeah. So we still have two gentlemen. Um, Charlotte, I want to see if you have a question for either one of these gentlemen. Mm. What's the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? I actually haven't had a relationship, <laughs> so nothing. Twins. Yeah. So, Charlotte, this would be your first relationship. Oh, I would yeah. That. Okay. Technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. Wait, Gene. Wait, Gene. He ain't never had a relationship. He's like thirty, and there's people that be like that. I I guess that's okay. Only because no it, it depends on how you define like he he ain't relation, had, like, he's new to dating. He's new. He said he's new to dating. Okay, so okay. Yeah. Yeah, and Gene, this would might be, as well. Yes, correct. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, Avery, to answer her, Charlotte's question. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So you had you've had relationships, right? I've had one. Okay. Was um, it like toxic? Was it ever bad? It was pretty bad. So what did you do? Dang. Well, there was a bad situation. I'm not going to explain, but I broke up with her. But I think I could have communicated better with her before I'd broken up, so I could have gotten down to like why it had happened. Did you break up over the phone? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing. Can I, can I just make a statement? You know, uh, while I have not had a relationship, I have very good, uh, uh, you know, very good reputation amongst my community of friends. And... Ah, uh, bro, you, we, we don't believe you. We don't believe you. We don't believe... I haven't believed nothing you said. We don't believe you, gang. Your community of friends are going to vouch for you that you're astute... Gentlemen, you know Dan doesn't get the women, but when he talks to the women, dude, I have to, I have to hold my girl's hand, dude. Dan, Dan, <laughs> take your girl, dude. Stupid. Nobody believes you, gang. And uh, you know they know what a great guy I am. I'm very respectful. You sound like very a politician, gentleman, gentleman like. Uh, and uh, yeah, never done anything bad, honestly. Usually, the guys who have to say that are the ones who've done the worst. That part right there. If you got to tell me that you're not a horrible person, there's a good chance you are a horrible person. I'll tell you. Yeah, bro. I have references. <laughs> Do I get a red flag? You, because we're kind of narrowing it down, we have two surviving. If if you feel it, I'm not saying wave it unless you feel like you're ready to wave it. I mean, I kind of want to wave it at them both. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> if you want to, you can. Sorry. Uh, Charlotte. Okay, explain. Avery, why the red flag for Avery? Up. Um, so I just think we w we could all be great friends. I don't see or feel any like friends sexual energy. Like I don't get nervous. I'm not blushing around any of you guys right now. Besides that dude behind the camera right there. <laughs> Can we? Yeah, Cheeks pool. He got motion. Fan to him. Wow. He got yeah. motion. Wow. T tell me. Tell us why. Hmm. Why what? Why you feel that energy towards him? Cause he's cute. <laughs> Cheeks got motion. Wow. The, We're going to talk do? about that later. Okay. Um, that's so crazy. that's Avery. So you don't feel that mm. energy with him. No, was the age? Got was the age? Because he's 20. Okay. I was going to say, I know because they said someone was under 21. Okay. I'm 21. So like age doesn't really matter to me as long okay. as it's not like more than like a year younger. I feel like that'd be kind of okay. weird. Okay. But okay. no, I don't think that's why. Okay. So your red flag was for his response to your question? I or? just think. If I'm being honest, I need a guy with like very like assertive energy and mm. like outgoing and like I don't know. It's just you feel it you in feel your it. heart. You, you know? feel it. Yeah. 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 Now, what about Gene with his response? I'm sorry for assuming if I'm wrong, but you seem a little bit older. Or 29. Okay, so yeah. yeah, you are a little bit older. That's not that old though. Okay, sorry, I don't mean to say old. Like yeah. you're still young, you still have youth, you still have an amazing life ahead of you. Um, Glad to hear. But yeah, that'd probably be the reason. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, Charlotte broke it down. Um, you waved the red flag. She's, she's happy about waving thank it. Thank you. Um, I sure do thank you for coming out, Charlotte. I wish we could have found a real one for you. Uh, maybe time. we should have had more black guys 
um, that look like him. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I tried. That's four, bro. That's four. The host is wild, bro. There were some matches. I'll take that red flag. Can we clap it up for Charlotte still? Can we clap it up for Charlotte? Uh, you can go out that way. Don't talk to him as you exit. He already matched with someone else. So that's getting dangerous. We appreciate you, Charlotte. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Come on in. What? They found your black ass. <laughs> They found a random black guy? What the frick happened? Who is this brother? He, he looked like, hey man, I'm just happy to be here, dog. Sad day. Where did y'all find the brother, man? I feel like he was the other cameraman. Now, so that's getting dangerous. We appreciate you, Charlotte. Thank you. All right, come on in and step on that red X. Where did they find you? Red X. I'm gonna give you a mic. Hello, tell us your name, your age, and where you're from. Hi, I'm Aspen, I'm 28, and I'm from New York City. And tell us, uh, what do you do for work? If that black man, if the black guy gets chosen, and he's the one that gets taken out of all four that's left, I will give this man a $10 membership donation. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> um, so I work in a tech startup and I work in business development and operations. Okay, they're feeling you. No red flags yet. Let's try this. What are three deal breakers that you have when it comes to relationships? Three deal breakers are if someone is very vanilla, someone who does not have a career. Um, vanilla meaning like they, like they, they're very like safe, like to the basics. That's what vanilla means. Oh, that's a new term. I ain't never yeah, heard that it, one because I'm about to say you discriminate against your own peoples. It's like in anime, they have like romance genres, and it's like vanilla is like very straightforward girl meets boy, they're happy. And then they have like the other flavors where it's like drama, all that other stuff added to it. That's what they, vanilla is like. Cause vanilla is the base, the most basic Girl, ice cream flavor. I thought she was talking about race. So I'm like, oh. what? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! We already hey. labeled as food: vanilla, chocolate. <laughs> Caramel macchiato. And ambitious. Define vanilla. Vanilla, not kinky, like very. Oh, I'm the exact opposite. Cool. Straight up, like monogamous. Doesn't like any like. Threesomes, or oh, like maybe say some last. Play. I'm ready. He said, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> got a red flag. We've got a flag on the play. <laughs> he said, I am ready. I usually said that. I thought a SpongeBob's license plate. We've got a flag on the play. Ready. Avery, tell us why you're throwing the red flag. Um, not monogamous. Yeah. Okay, that's important for you, monogamy. Yeah. Monogamy okay. is definitely my favorite form, but I, you're tripping, brother. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, thank you, Avery and Aspen. That's understandable with you. They're just keeping it real. Really understandable. I don't see people okay, stuff we nowadays. still have three brothers alive. So you gave your three, right? You Who gave is your this three? brother? Okay, do you have any others that are pressing, or those are the top? Um, not really. I'm really open, but those three are kind of a deal breaker. Okay. Not Tell us this. What makes you a real one? What makes you a catch? A real one. Okay. I'm super blunt. I am unapologetically myself, which scares people away, but I like to keep it real like that. And I'm from New York. And you're for everybody. you for the block. She for everybody. So if the gang eating, if 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 he eating, the gang eating. She for everybody. It's like if you don't like it, then it's not a match. But some people, f it, some people don't. <laughs> All right. Now, Gina, it looks like you have a question. Do you have a question? I have a statement. I, I love your dress. I think it's very uh, eccentric. You know, it's an yeah. awesome, awesome dress. Uh, how do you feel about karaoke? And just oh going God. out and all that. You know. Okay. So karaoke is new to me because I was always super shy to do it. But then like one of my friends was like, just do it. She like put on my favorite Depeche Mode track. I love and Depeche I Mode. Like, I saw them live. Yeah. I was like a superstar. So yeah. now I love it. But I'm yeah. also kind of super shy, if that makes sense. Well, we can. So you, you're not shy 
Hey, man, we're not going to do that. Hey, man, that no, nah, bro, because let's talk, talk about we're it. We're not going to talk about what that woman does. Because it's like, you, like, like let's right. change hey, that. If uh, given the opportunity, that is. <laughs> mm, okay. I like karaoke a lot. Yeah, good, good. Perfect. Okay. Um, we only have one red flag thrown up. We have three still alive. Um, do you have a question to help narrow it down before I force you to eliminate one? Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like how so the tests came on high or something. Who wants kids? Should I say what <laughs> I want? I, well, ask them for that's a great starting question. Who wants kids? Yeah. I want kids. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, at some point, yes, I would like kids. Who are you? Jean? You know, I, I I'm I'm indifferent. Uh, you know, I just as just as long as there's no, you know, set time frame. Like we gotta have kids by like this time. You know what I mean? Like it's just as long as there's no time frame. It's kind of we can do our own thing and, you know, explore. Right. I love that. So yeah. Yeah. Do those responses work for you? Now, do you I want mean, kids? So, like, my approach is uh, on it is like I'm not so focused on kids. I'm more like focused on my career. And I've never been the one to be like, I need kids. It's my life calling. It's more of like, if I meet the right person and it's a good time in life, sure. But I'm not hell bent on it. Like, I'd rather pursue my career and have that be my baby. And if the time is right, yeah. Mm -hmm. But She's it's never been like, I need that and let's do it. I've had other priorities. So you could go without having children I if, could, if it's yeah, set up. Yeah. Is it's that my okay? box? Okay, that takes your box. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah. I'm fine with going without kids. It's just like, you know, financial situations and mm. the time. And yeah, I think that's about it as far as for me. Now, Jazz, for you, you want kids. I do want kids. Could you go without? Well, she said she wants a threesome. I was, uh, that's the thing <laughs> that I'm on. And that's like what two I'm answers ago, on. you're yeah. still focusing on that, like, eh? Was, like, I feel like that's my focus. I was like, who, who are you going to have fun with together? What about if me and her, like the threesome, we both had kids and it was Polly? I didn't pull out. That's what they said. <laughs> I didn't wait, pull out. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, wait, what do you mean? That's not what I was in. This is the conversation she's having, but she can't handle karaoke. This is what the OnlyFans generation has created. This is a, this, I bet you if I, I'm not even going to do it. Because I bet you if I click her profile, she probably got an OnlyFans link or something. This is, this is the, we're, we're so cooked, bro. And this is why I'm not voting politically. Because we're, we're cooked even without a president. We, we're cooked, dude. <laughs> like, we're so done. Like, <laughs> click her Instagram. Do you, I want to see. I, bro, curious, if it is, bro, this video ends here. What's her name? Oh, no, no, that's not it. That's the other girl. That's Charlotte. That's Charlotte. Uh, Aspen. If it's a link, bro, it's. Oh, good heavens. If it's a link. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So, with that note, Hey, shout out to the last talk show. We got to blur that. Yeah, shoot. Shout out to the shout out to the last last talk show. I love your guys' content. I will be enjoying episode 2. Unfortunately, this is where our journey ends because I just made the initiative and I'm a man of my word. I said if she, if I open her link and she got an OnlyFans, the video ends there. So, I'm a man of my word, unfortunately. And, and you got to give him a $10 membership. <laughs> Oh, did I say that? Yes. Oh, I do. I did make a bet. I did say that um, if she chooses the random black guy that they added to this show, I was going to give a $10 bet. I already gave the $10 bet because we had confused. I made two bets in this video. Yeah. I, I made two bets. But uh, for people that wanted to see the results of that bet. The questions. Uh, let's start. Uh, <laughs> Kenny. She did, in fact, choose the black guy, the random black guy that got added to the show. So uh, <laughs> y'all are going to see this. Y'all going to see this. I don't know where I'm going to put this at. It's probably going to be the intro, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, oh, it's going to be at the end, bro. Hold on. I don't know, bro. All right, y'all.